Hello everyone, um, welcome to what's normally a pre-recorded podcast. Um, we're doing a live one tonight. Uh, yep. My name is actually... Eric. My name is Mark. I'm Tiffany. Oh, I, I'm, so, I'm super excited. We got Tiffany for a podcast. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're, we wanted to talk about E3 because... Uh, I mean, it's still going on technically, but for all the plebs at home, E three's over. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for all the for all the main okay, main so things that people announcing. Not E3 itself. Over. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're at E three, you can still go and test out the new games and all that stuff. But for us, everything new has been uncovered. Um, before we dive into this, I want to ask both of you if you could describe. E3 in one word this year. Mark, how would you sum up E3 in a word? Streaming. Streaming. Tiffany. Very indie. Very indie. Um, that was two words. <laughs> I used two words. It's okay. Um, <clears throat> now, Mark, you mentioned streaming. Uh, which I didn't understand what you meant at first until I processed it. Yeah, I think like every major, uh, every, every single major conference minus Devolver mentioned like a streaming, a streaming service. Mm-hmm. Even so much to where Square Enix not only said oh. that you know they have their they have their Square streaming thing that's coming, but they also said about how all their music is now going to be streaming on Spotify. <laughs> so okay, so wait, was it was it all? Streaming? Whoa. Oh, somebody's phone is, like, oh. yeah, right on the it. mic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was my bad. No, it's cool. Um, was it all... Uh, was it all streaming, or was it... some? Because I think some of it was, like... Oh, there was, like, a subscription service. What's a subscription streaming sort of thing? So, like, Orion? Orion's kind of the thing for Bethesda streaming... Mm-hmm. Um, you had the Xbox Game Pass, which was their way of bringing PC gamers into the fold with Xbox games, mm-hmm. was where they could stream it on their PC. Uh, and you had uh, Ubisoft with the Ubi Play Plus. Mm-hmm. Um, Ubi and then you had Ubi Play, Nintendo, which has its own online service where you can stream their classic games. And then you have Square Enix that mentioned something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but they mentioned something about it, too. Mm-hmm. Um, the word for me, uh, lackluster, like, I, I that. this was, I, Sony was sorely missed this year, I think, um, I, it was a lot of CG trailers, man, it was a lot of, like, Here's this new thing, but like, no actual. Sorry, guys, my dogs oh, are fighting. Cool. It's uh, so good. There was yes. like. We swear Tiffany doesn't run a dog fighting ring. <laughs> no, there was... I mean. No, there was no. The way actual... Harvey sounds right now. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Sure. They were behaving yeah. earlier. No problem. Tiffany, while we wait for Tiffany to get back, I guess let's finish what we're talking about. There wasn't like one. It was yeah, it was a lot of like CG trailers of like here's this new idea that's coming out, but like no actual. I like being able to see like how a game works, and like these CG right, trailers, like yeah, they look cool, but there's no there's no solid like representation of what that game is going to be like. Um, and like, yeah, you can have like a, a developer like be like, oh, well, this game is like this, but it's it's one thing to like hear it and another thing to actually see it happen. And like, unless your unless your CG trailer is really cool, um, and interesting, like I don't care that mm-hmm. Microsoft had a uh, a game I forget what it was called. But they had, it was like a shooter game, and they had a CG trailer for it, and I was like. Why the fuck? Like, why would I care about this in a, in a in an oversaturated market where there's like a bajillion first person shooters? What am I supposed to think about that game? Like, how am I supposed to be like, 
oh, that looks really interesting. You know what I mean? Like, why would I care about yeah. another CG trailer for a shooter? Unless you're like, unless you, your game has like a a thing about it that sticks out that is represented in that trailer. It did nothing for me. I don't even remember the name of it. That's how little it did for me. Um, however, uh, we're I guess we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. Um, <clears throat> well, let's I guess let, let's, let's just take it from the top. Yeah, huh? go ahead, kick us off, Mark. So uh, what we had first is we had the EA Play, which was the thing that kicked off E3. They kind of kick it off every year, but instead of doing like a normal conference, E3 gave us gameplay. Or EA. So <laughs> EA for EA, yeah. which is like EA gave us gameplay, which they started off the gameplay with Star Wars. The one game everybody is looking forward to is that Star Wars game that they have coming out. And I was I was liking the action, it was the fighting looked cool up until up until the point of when he slow like slowed down time, force pulled the guy to him and made the guy shoot himself with his own laser. That moment sold me. That shit. on that game. Yeah, I like. <laughs> I like laughed at my at my television, uh, really hard as that happened because I saw him stop the bullet and then I knew what he was gonna do and then he, he like actually did it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Um, I I I'll say right off the bat, I think that was probably the the best thing that EA could have done. Was do that that direct oh, yeah. instead because like every year that I just get deep throated by fucking FIFA and like all this stuff that I don't care about. Um, it's just it's even better. <laughs> you guys can't see my face. <laughs> you just hear me talk about it. <laughs> I can. Um, You're scratching your head. Oh yeah. yeah on the, so on the disclaimer: uh-huh. I didn't actually watch EA this year because I thought it was just nothing but sports. So I was just oh, like, I'm gonna skip it. The one You're year fine. that it's they fine. actually don't do sports. Um, yeah, right. No, well, uh, they they only started the first like 45 minutes was no sports. Mm-hmm. Everything else was sports after that. Well, how long was the was it? Three the hours. Normal? It was a three hour conference. Well, the, it wasn't really a conference. What was three hours? The EA Play. Was it really? Oh. They spent thirty minutes on each game, and oh they had goodness. like. How is that three hours? That's an hour one, and a half, buddy. Yeah, but they had six games. Oh, okay, okay. I, I got what you're saying. I, I stopped after the the Battlefield one. Um, yeah, they had they Star had Wars six games. Picks on the Battlefield, um, but no. Um, how, how do we? I mean, like. <laughs> As far as the Star Wars game goes, I uh, I want to see more of the the main character. What's his name? Cal, I think his name is. Mm-hmm. Um, I like. So, in case you don't know, he's actually the the actor who played the Joker character in Gotham. Like the the yeah the the face of him. He played he played um, Jeremiah and Jerome Velasquez in Gotham, which is really off putting. Like it took me a while to like get used to. Uh, it's, it's like I just I see him and like he just looks like like I, I expect him to be like a bad guy. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you, you expect him to come <laughs> for me like oh Percy Woosie, yeah. how are you? Yes, you know like be shit. Um, but uh, that was the, the main. That was the only thing that I, I I wanted to see about that was just I want more of his personality. Um, so that's the only thing. Um, Tiffany, what do you think? Did you get to watch the the Star Wars at all? At least no, sadly I I missed it. Okay, okay. Um, well, so this was for the the like new old Republic game, right? Or are, are, no. are they completely re? It's a yeah, it's a completely totally new new. game. Okay, it's, it's being made See, by. This is um, how much I... It's being made by Respawn, who did the Titanfall games, also okay. are doing Apex. Um, but I mean, <laughs> they had to add the wall running. That was a that was yeah, a that was nice. <laughs> uh, 
but I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, I, I, Apex got a new character. Uh, I personally, I was for someone who enjoys Apex as much as I do, I was just like, all right, cool. Um, and then there was the battlefield, the new maps, which is cool for battlefield fans. Um, uh, is it going to be Jim? Jim Price, hey buddy, is asking if hey, the Star Wars game is going to be akin to the Force Unleashed. Um, it, it seems that way, but also there's like there's some Dark Soulsy elements. That was what I wanted to bring up. There was. It, it seemed like you had to be more tactical with the way that you were fighting. Yeah. The fighting style of what you're going to be doing. And two, it I believe the story takes place after Return of the Jedi. It's in between before. three and four. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, oh, it's in between. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's after, it's after Rise Order, of the Sith or whatever. Uh, Order 66 gets sent out. And okay. So you're, you're one of the last Jedi who are like in hiding because you don't want to, you know, die. So I just like that. I like that drone. <clears throat> Like that little the backpack oh, drone thing. Oh, a little thing. backpack drone. Yeah. It, well, it was uh, it was neat because like, so as I was watching it, like I was getting those Dark Souls vibes from it. Where like, uh, it's a very much like you you take on, you kind of take on one enemy at a time with this. It's not so much like taking out massive groups of, of like stormtroopers yeah. all at once. It was very much about like, um, okay, I gotta focus on this guy. I'm gonna watch his movements and stuff like that and fight against it um and then he also had like the like a almost like an estus flask type thing from dark souls to like heal um he's also got a stamina gauge i noticed in the clip yeah he did yeah so he can look like he can either run out of stamina or maybe like he can overuse his force power yes he had a force maybe bar that's and a that stamina is bar, uh which is really interesting um so yeah, it, so yeah, they had those things going on, which was was really neat. I, I like that approach to it because um, it hasn't been really done yet. I haven't seen one that takes a more, uh, I wouldn't say slow pace, but just more like, like you said, tactical. Yeah, more tactical. To, it, it, to fighting it, as a it, Jedi. It's not necessarily the mechanics of God of War, but you know, whenever you're playing God of War, it's kind of that you know you have to figure out how you're going to attack these enemies around you mm-hmm. and they kind of gave you that and they let you throw a lightsaber which is always fun and i prefer it this way like thinking on it like i kind of prefer it that way because in the force unleashed you are like god mode is activated like I, I don't know if you've played like the the first and second ones or i don't know if you've played the the both of them but especially in the second one like the enemies are just butter like, you just run through them Nothing can stop you. I, I never once had trouble playing through that game. You're just super overpowered, and like that's fun for five minutes. Like it yeah. is cool to get a little bit of a challenge. I don't want to die all the time, but like having a good balance, you know. Um, yeah, I understand what you're saying. So like, I, I like the way that combat is set up in in um in that one for sure. And they give you different ways to do it, and that's that's you don't have to just lightsaber, lightsaber, lightsaber. Mm-hmm. You can just force pool you can move all these together and you have to use everything together to really get through the game right and that's that's what i enjoyed about the gameplay that they showed um but uh let's i guess let's move on to the next thing they had in there um (laughs) shut up jim (laughs) oh you're (laughs) You're great at video games um (laughs) no you really are just super strong in that but yeah let's move on to what was it uh microsoft you have Microsoft, um, EA had other games, majority of them sports. They released something else for Apex, which was a new hero that's going to be joining in season two. Um, and that was cool, but that's pretty much for me. That was E3. Well, not E3, that was, uh, EA. EA yeah. <laughs> well, that's well, enough. That was all I needed to see. Screw the, <laughs> screw the new Zelda. <laughs> screw, screw everything else. Like, uh. <laughs> I came to see that FIFA oh, coming to the street. I will end you. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, Microsoft. Uh, Tiffany, did you get to see the Microsoft conference? Yes, I did. Thoughts? Um, I actually was excited for a couple of things. Granted, I do, we don't own an Xbox, but we're excited to like play some of these games like mm-hmm. Ori 
um, that you can play on the PlayStation. I mean, on the computer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that that is a really neat feature that they've added. They're like all the the exclusive games are going to be PC playable if you have one. So that's mm -hmm. cool. yeah. Oh yeah, continue. I'm sorry. No, and then um, I think that was the only one that I actually liked from there. I of course you know I didn't write anything down so. <laughs> Jacob Belair, hey buddy, says uh, Project Scarlet can't wait to run 120 FPS on next gen, dude. Okay. Okay, can we can we also say you know that 8K graphics that they they called for? I have an issue advertising shit that you will never use. Like yes, yes I get it. You have a you have a, a device that is capable of those limits. That's awesome. I'm never going to use that. At least not for like years from now. We're barely getting into 4K. You're gonna tell me that like we're gonna be at 8K by the? I, I don't believe that. I don't think we'll. Be I don't either. By Christmas 2020, we're gonna be at 8K. Yeah. Because uh, Project Scarlett Johansson's gonna go places. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get that. Oh, well, I mean, never mind. I'm not gonna get in the. I know John no. and Kelly are watching. I'm not gonna get in the end game spoilers. No end game no. spoilers. Okay. No, we have, no, no, we no, have no. a whole podcast full of that. This yeah. is something new. Um, anyways. <laughs> Uh, I'm reading comments. Um, Tyler says Project Scarlet doesn't mean anything if they don't embrace exclusives and quality IP. You are so right. You are right. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I hate that they they flash this like world premiere and exclusive every world conference premiere. It's like I don't know. There's this weird mentality that I notice about these conferences or like or especially like Microsoft just because you're able to advertise a game at your showcase first doesn't mean that like it it doesn't give you the advantage like nobody's going to be like oh well, man I got to I got to get that on Xbox like no I look at the Cyberpunk trailers and I go oh man I can't wait to play that on my PlayStation you know like I'm yeah. not right. I'm not like That's... oh god I got to buy that Xbox one now for for <laughs> oh that, that was Xbox scarlet yeah 100 you know? like right after they said for borderlands 3 uh they had like a they said oh you can get this dlc exclusively on xbox and i was like oh let me go check on ps3 a ps4 i was like oh wait you can download it on ps4 all right cool i'm good i'll watch it there i'm like let me watch all the games you want to buy on ps4 <laughs> except um, for gears except for gears 5 that, which that trailer what is was, that was uh not it didn't do that game any favors. Uh, I didn't like the trailer for that. Um, I was quite confused on what was going on at first. Like, if they would have... Sorry, go ahead, Eric. No, 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 no. You, you're okay. It was, it was a different uh, subject. Go ahead. I was going to say, with that trailer, if they would have intercut, like, gameplay footage in between the face changing, mm. that would have made the trailer better. Yeah. You know, because the, the song was cool. I mean, using the Billie Eilish song there, and then the graph, the CG was cool, but if you would have put, like, Billy just eyelash. Billy eyelash. <laughs> if you would have put like just cuts of like some minor gameplay in between it, that would have made that reveal way better. But instead you just have this like person with all these different faces just spawning as ghosts off yeah. of it. Yeah. I I know I bring the I've been bringing them up like all week, but you guys know I'm a huge Easy Allies fan. Um yes. one of the one of the guys over there was able to uh capture footage of that gameplay mode. And, like, showed it off uh, the next day. The gameplay looks great. Like, I don't know why they didn't oh, yeah. show that off. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Conference. I saw it. Like, if you have. Yeah, I saw Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're fine. It's just, like, uh, like, I don't know why you wouldn't showcase the actual game. <laughs> like, why not just show off the game? I, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. It doesn't make and, sense. And yeah, it's like so. Like I, I, I went to the while, uh, while after the after Devolver was done, or between. I don't remember exactly when. I went and watched the uh, up, up, down, down stream of the Gears Five Escape, mm -hmm. and that looked fit. That looked fun as hell. Granted, it looked like it looked like a third person version of Killing Floor. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I mean, it looked fun and the gameplay looked good, but instead you give us a CG head, like just show us the gameplay. Don't make us like jump to 20 different places. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Tiffany, were there any games that, that like, stuck out to you? I mean, of course, Ori. Like, that yeah, was Ori gorgeous. Yeah, Ori is a big one. Um, I think the one that stuck out to me the most was, uh, what was it, Elden Ring? Um, oh, the Jar Jar R. Martin yes, game? which was super upsetting. That game got leaked. <laughs> It got leaked yeah, it did. a couple days before E3. Had that not have been leaked, that would have been one of the biggest stories of E3. That would have been. That would have been huge. Everybody would have been like, <laughs> oh my god! I, thought, <laughs> I was waiting for you to like say something. It was just like a big face. It was lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, like the trailer was really interesting though. It looks like the gimmick is going to be that like you equip different like body part attachments. That's the, that's what I saw too. And one of the shots like that that chick like just equips an arm. Like, she just hooks up an arm, which is really sick yeah. looking. Um, but yeah, which it, I think. Sorry, oh, go ahead. Um, I think it's it's gonna be it's gonna be Dark Souls. It's gonna be Sekiro. As I think that's the name. How do you say that game's name? Sekiro. 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 Yeah, I think it's gonna be like that style. But set in like a George R. R. Martin kind of story. Mm. Okay. It's gonna be a good time. What you got to? Um, and can like I do have to give it to Xbox about like I saw someone in the comments say something about like their Game Pass, like the ultimate Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Um, like which, fourteen dollars a month and you get all that. Oh, so is least... that the deal? Because I didn't look into the details of it. So it was, yeah, it's. You get gold and you get live, and then you get access to their gaming pass on both um, the Xbox and the PC. That's pretty sweet for fourteen dollars a month. So, um, right, can you come down about twenty, and everyone else already got about... it. Oh, you got it. All right, yep. cool. I have um, my own value knob. Oh, oh neat. Um. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, what else? They have a really cool game being made by the the company who made um, oh, what was it? Uh, Ninja Theory, the company Ninja Theory. They're making um, a four v four action melee game, Bleeding Edge. Bleeding Edge. That was the one yeah. game that stood out that I was like, man, I kind of want to play that. Um, that one, Dying Dying Light, is it called Dying Light Two? Yes. Looks fun. Yeah, which I mean, I can get that on PS4 though. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, there was, yeah, there's no game that you like. This is Xbox exclusive, like that. Um, oh wait, no, there was one that I was intrigued by. Well, two that I was intrigued by. I was intrigued by Fantasy Star Two finally coming to the US. Oh, and okay. I don't Crossfire. follow that series, but that's super cool that they did that. Well, to me, it was it looked intriguing. Um, <laughs> and two Crossfire X. What was, the, the, was that the shooter thing that I was bitching about ten minutes ago? Was the it, one where it was like they're at the top of the building? Yeah, I think that's the and one. the bomb comes in. Yeah, that so you, you can actually go. Me. You can actually go on Twitch and watch people play it because it's oh, a big okay, game. So there's game gameplay game. now. Yeah, no, there's big gameplay. Okay. Uh, the game came out in Korea before it ever came out in the U.S. Oh. Um, okay. It's just finally coming to the U.S. Kind of like um, Fantasy Star. Mm-hmm. Um, um, I want to. I want to quickly go over like just a, a couple like things just to say a couple comments on. Um, okay. Blair Witch. Uh, yay oh yeah, or, that yay game. or nay? Are we yay. excited about that? Yay! It's made by the creators of uh, Layers of Fear. What a weird game to like bring back. Yeah. Um, I I kind of got vibes around it. I was like, I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like another Outlast game. Because they have the it camera, looks like that, yeah, it does. But but then all of a sudden they, at the end when they showed the the camera fall and the person in the corner and that kind of thing, I was like, is this a Blair Witch game? And then they show the Blair Witch project symbol, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. like, what is it supposed to be? Like, anyone have any idea? Um, not really. They didn't say a whole lot. Uh huh. It, it was really just the the trailer for. It. I'm sure there's more like information online somewhere about it, um, but we're not journalists, so yeah. <laughs> uh, um, Hence why our pod- podcast was called the Immature Hour, right? <laughs> uh, 
Let's see. Oh, uh, the Battle Toads look fucking slick. Oh, Battle Toads. Battle Toads look slick. Um. Now, I it, it look. I, I at first I was like, oh, Battle Toads, yay! It wasn't like, oh my god, Battle Toads. It's like, oh, Battle Toads. I, I like the style of it. I think it's got a good looking style. Um. I think it'll. Whenever they try to like redo two D brawlers, it can always. It's like hit or miss. Like when they tried to redo Turtles in Time, it was just yeah, it was not good. Uh, nor was Shaq Fu. Mark, you know that pain. Um, <laughs> hey man, I still got the icy hot. It's all good. I think we had more. I think it was more fun to make fun of the the, the descriptions of all the items than playing that fucking mess. Because um, Shaq Shaq grew up in as a child in China. <laughs> Did not know that. <laughs> You're such a big boy. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> thing <laughs> that's said in there. Anyways, getting sidetracked. Um. <laughs> uh, I guess other thing in Xbox. Uh, Cyberpunk. I, I was. I don't care about Forza, but I do care. I didn't want that Lego, that complete McLaren made out of Legos. That Lego oh, game that was looks so awesome. happy. Yes, I want the Lego Star Wars game. Like. Oh yeah, the Lego Star Wars game too. Wait, it's the like, it's the Skywalker saga, is what it is. It's like yes. all nine films. Oh, okay. That's so awesome. that's not coming out till after December. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh man. But it looks so great. I was like, it I need fun. this. As long as they don't put voiceovers. As long as they just do like the Lego sound effects, like ooh, uh, uh like as long as we got that, I'm happy. But if you try to do like actual voiceovers with these little bitty Legos on the video games, it just doesn't work. Mm. Um, and then we had probably, I wouldn't even say it's arguable. They, like, like undeniably the best moment of E3 had to be the cyberpunk thing with the Keanu Reeves. Uh, this is, uh, is, uh, uh, uh we lost okay. signal for a second. Oh, oh, we're back. I think we're back. We're back. Oh. I think yeah. we're back. Uh, Lego Outlast. That was weird. <laughs> I think we're good, though. All right. Uh, Jacob, uh, I will get to Kakarot in a moment. Um, what? Well, I, I, I got to. I got to. I think we're good. Got to show this. So this is something that came up on my Twitter feed after his reveal. Let's we'll see if we can get it to work. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna. Uh, I don't think it's gonna. Too bright of a light. We can't hear anything. Hear it. <laughs> this is this is sweet stuff, Mark. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> gonna get copyright strikes for that uh no it's only three seconds yeah, yeah, yeah. it was only three seconds we're good you, you're right you're right um <laughs> so one thing that I, I found interesting though about the the cyberpunk trailer was that so did y'all two watch the the 45 minute demo that came out last year i did no no have you seen any like gameplay footage of Cyberpunk, Tiffany? Mm-mm. Okay. Did you see the trailer though from the other yes. from yesterday? Or um so the guy who dies in that trailer in the demo that they showed last year, the forty five minute demo, he's like your partner. Like you do missions and shit with him. Like he's your he's your right hand man. So okay. in that demo they really emphasize that like every single thing you do will have consequences. Um, what I'm gathering from that trailer is that trailer was like a scenario of what happens if you don't do things right a certain way and like your partner can actually die. And then if you're not careful, like, you know, like you'll bite it as well. And then I I don't know if that's going to be like a scripted thing like that happens or whatever. Uh, I mean, but then if, if Keanu Reeves brings you back. So, yeah. I mean. so I don't know. If, yeah, like, so that's... I'll be like, 
is that a bad is that a bad decision then to get your partner killed? Like does that like exactly. lead to a whole other like plot line, like dying, or I, it, it was super interesting. It made me think. Like I know they said when they did that demo, they were like, you know, keep in mind there's going to be yes, exactly like heavy rain. Um, keep in mind that um, a lot of stuff may change about this game moving forward. Yeah. So I don't know if they just decided that your partner is going to be like. He's just going to be like a character that takes a fall for you or whatever. Um, I don't know. It, it made me think though, like that was like a a glimpse at how your choices will affect things. Um, so that was that was interesting to to see that. Uh, I don't know if that'll actually pan out that way. Um, uh, well, we got a release date. We did get a release date. Um, we did. April. 16th. 16th, yes. April 16th, 2020. Which, good God. Early 2020 and late 2019 are yes. fucking stacked. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where all this money's going to come from. Because <laughs> I we're, can't we're just be... not play this stuff. Are you kidding? It's just well, like... We were laughing, me and Kelly, because I was telling her how we had Doom coming out like on my birthday. And I was like, I don't even like this game. And she was like, well, at least we don't... I don't have games that come out on my birthday around it. But now she's got Cyberpunk, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Death Stranding, the Star Wars game, uh, Doom. Um, mm-hmm. At uh, some point in there, we have I mean, Final Fantasy VIII going to be coming out. Oh, Final Fantasy, God. we've got the new Animal Crossing, we've got some new... Um, Link's Awakening coming out. Oh, yeah. Um, it's just so much shit. But yeah, I, was that was that all the oh the the Dragon Ball Kakarot? Which can one of y'all fill us in on that? Because I, that was one of the games that I missed. You missed Dragon Ball Kakarot? I did. I missed it. I, was, I had a call I had to do. I will uh, say that. Uh, do you want to take this one, Tiff? Did you watch it? I did watch it. Um. It's basically, from what I got from it, was just, like, Goku's side of, like, from when he started to, I guess, now in the series. But I don't really follow the Dragon Ball Fighters anymore. I got it. For me, it kind of seemed like it, it was taking the, the Mortal Kombat story fighter realm, but using starting from the beginning of the Kakarot all the way through to the, the Z series. So, like, at some point, you're going to be fighting... Vegeta. Then you're gonna move on to the the Frieza saga. Then you're gonna be moving on to the Cell saga. Oh, um, so every sure Dragon Ball Z game. Essentially? Yep. That. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it, it, what except about the, this the one God looks stuff. the most. Uh, I don't think it's gonna go to there uh, because that's Dragon Ball Super. Um, but I, I will say that um, the Ooh. graphics look the closest to the cartoon that I've seen in a game so far. Really. Um. Yeah, and the voice actors are really good too. Uh, the the graphics are really nice. Uh, I'm, they didn't really show any gameplay footage, but they did show in game graphics. Okay. Yeah. Um. So that was really good. Um. But I, I'm excited. It, it look. I you know me. I like fighting games, and that mm. looked like a lot of fun. Um. It looks it looks better than most fighting games that are on the market. So. Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um. I. I had to stop buying fighting games. Uh, I think Injustice 2 is the last one I bought. And, like, I have a problem where, like, I'll play them furiously for, for, like, a few weeks. And then it just, that's it. Like, it just dies for me. And I never touch it again. I think the last time I played Injustice 2 was with you, Mark. Yeah. Uh, God. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. We did. Um, You tried to say that I was cheating. (laughs) 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 I don't know. Um... (laughs) I suck at video games. Uh, <laughs> the fun, the funny thing is, I I'll still pop it open every now and then, and I'll like jump into it the world tournaments and just get my ass handed to me. Really? <laughs> like really quickly. But I'm just like, yeah, let's see where I am. Whatever. Let's see how I rank in the world. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, you want to touch Balma, John? Hello, buddy. Um. All right, so let's let's. All right, we got Microsoft out of the way, huh? Was that everything? Yeah. Now we're moving on. Rate it? Want to grade I, it? Oh, we want to grade it. Um, I would give Microsoft Conference a. I'd give it a C plus. 
C no C minus. I give it a C minus. I was like, wait, we're grading things. I give it a C minus because of the 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 Project Scorpio reveal was like. What? Scarlet? Yeah, Scarlet? Wait, I'm sorry, it's not Scorpio, Tech, Scarlet. Well, I mean, it looked exactly like the Scorpio reveal, but... God, right? That's probably why that, why I said that. It was just like it. Um... Oh, they um, the new Halo game. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jacob. Very emotional... Uh, God, I can't believe I forgot that. Very emotional trailer. It, it, it really it was. Me. I was. I was invested in what was going to happen in that trailer. Um... That's how you do a proper CG trailer, by the way. Like and and mix it into gameplay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I thought that was a lovely trailer. Um, thank you, Jacob, for bringing that up. Um, but yeah, I give it a C minus. Uh, I I I, uh, I give it about a C C minus also, uh, just because the whole entire time, like you said, I'm sitting there. Okay, I want to buy these on my PS4. Um. Uh, sadly, I have a Mac. So I'm not going to be able, <laughs> I'm not okay. gonna be able to do that. You come to my house and we'll play. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but no, I mean, yeah, solid C. Um, I think the thing, uh, solid C, the thing that makes it a solid C is Keanu Reeves is awesome. And I want a Lego yes. McLaren. Side note, no one, there is no other actor that has ever been at an E3 conference that has gotten that much applause. Like only Keanu could achieve that. It was it was lovely. Well, and the thing is, didn't like last month John Wick just came out, so like, oh yeah, everybody's probably just like, dude, you're coming here to beat up. <laughs> I'm sorry about your dog. Yeah, your dog. <laughs> Jesus, Tiffany, what would you what would you grade Microsoft? So I'd probably I'd give it like a C C plus. Mhm. Yeah. So it was it was an average it was an average uh, conference for sure. Yeah, it wasn't like, bad. Sorry. Okay. Um, because normally, like as I said, I don't have an Xbox, but once we get our desktop going up, um, we can I could buy buy some of those games that I wanted to play. So. Mm-hmm. The Kingdom Hearts Three DLC. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that yeah, into Square we'll Enix. Square. Square Enix, mm-hmm. yeah. Um. But yeah, moving on to the most annoying conference of the, the of E three, um, Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god good no, Beth- god wait 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 guys guys real quick real quick i want to reenact one of the moments so like you know the first time i like jumped into like elder scrolls <laughs> and uh like i really just like i like dragons you know like, like i kind of want to huddle cuddle one uh maybe make love to one uh if they would just put dragons and everything it'd be great like i want a dragon that flies by in fallout that'd be great you know you drop the nuke and boom dragon yeah, that's really what I like. It, <sighs> like <laughs> I Bethesda I, conference. I have, oh, go ahead. I do, sorry, I do have to give it to him. Like, I kind of like the the gamer, like them bringing in the gamers for that, like to be in their conference. Oh, it was cool the first time. After the third one, though, I was like, "Can can we stop?" <laughs> yeah, true. Like, I'm I'm done. <laughs> Um, how many checks do you think they cut for the four people in the first row yelling? Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I, My God. So distracting. Uh, I don't know why they thought that that was okay. It's just like... Dude, booze are a thing, man. Um, <laughs> like, I guess, like, I guess, like, before walking in the Adobe Theater, they're like, dude, we got freaking, uh... We got shots of Jameson over at the bar in the front. <laughs> no, nah, that dude was drunk off some smear off ice. All right, let's not kid ourselves. No, um, no, no. Zima. Z- All right. What the fuck is Zima? <laughs> Jesus. Oh god, dude. Um I uh, to be fair, uh To be fair. There were some cool stuff at Bethesda's conference. I'm not going to like I'm not going to deny that. Um we got to see more of Doom Eternal. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was cool. For a split second, I could have swore that there were angels in there, and they can and they confirmed it they confirmed by it. saying they confirmed it by saying you could fight. You're fighting in hell, heaven, and other realms. Oh, God, that's gonna be so good. Aaron, I just I'm wonder if how I'm am I a child? 
You don't know what Zima is. Oh. <laughs> well, I must be a child too cuz I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's it's hangover in a bottle. Uh well then. Um I'm not a drinker, so. Uh but yeah, so the Doom Eternal um yes, I want that yesterday. Um Oh yeah, and I, I do not. <laughs> Uh, oh, then you're, you had... you're not a you're not a Doom fan, Tiffany. No, <laughs> was it too much? It's a little. No, you, you you know how I feel about first person shooters already. So. Oh, I do, I do. Um, God, I I moving on to the one of the the main things was Todd Howard coming out, and holy shit, he did exactly what I knew he was gonna do and didn't apologize. He fucking. He, he he skated around the apology by saying, you know, it's like I know it wasn't what it was, but he didn't apologize. He, did he didn't straight apologize. He stuck the landing on not apologizing. <laughs> but he, he, you can see the remorse in the man's eyes. <laughs> I, I love the long pause after he mentioned about like us being like super uh, open about how we felt about Fallout seventy six or whatever. Um, and then just fucking skated on. It was just like, yeah. So we're adding battle royale. <laughs> yep. like, so many battle royale. And then, I'm so sick and then of it. well, the they added the battle royale. Oh my god! But the other one, which was I think it was called Wastelanders. Yeah. Where where they're adding pretty much a Fallout game to the Fallout seventy six area. Pretty, it's kind of what it seemed like, and that's coming out for free to people that have played the game. Yeah, I, I, it's sad that I got excited about the fact that NPCs are being added to a game. <laughs> I think everybody's super excited about that. It's just like this didn't. They, like, they it's left a, out the. It's a given. Like you, you add NPCs to your video game. Uh, Someone I, I forgot can... to check the box, okay? I... <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> they forgot to check the box. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah. Uh, what else well, they... Okay, so... What do they have? They had... Um... Elder Scrolls Blades is being added to the Switch, which I'm actually excited yes. about, because they're... I played a little bit of their, their mobile Blades. It's actually pretty enjoyable. Um, it, it it's It's a very... Uh, I mean, it feels very mobile phone game ish, but like the concept and like how it works and all of its mechanics and stuff is, is pretty solid. I was into it. Um, you had that ghost uh, wire. Oh god! Oh yeah, that was my favorite part of the conference, actually. The whole yeah, the Bethesda yeah, that was really a ghost wire. Uh, I'm intrigued to see what that is. I love the uh, line. Uh, Don't fear the unknown. Attack it. Yeah, that's a that's such a badass line. Like, I want to be that guy, just fucking bow, killing whatever the hell those things are. They had some really cool imagery in it. They like, they really did, and and you could, they had that moment of the the passing the torch kind of thing a little bit, where he came out and said, "Okay, this is the creative director for the game." And... Hang on, hang on a second, Tiffany, what are you laughing at? So Kevin's sleeping, and I just hear this like. You know when dogs sleep and they're having like a dream or something? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all I hear. <laughs> and at first I thought he was whining to get out of his kennel. Oh, jeez. But he's having a nightmare. He's having a nightmare. Poor baby. Oh, he's he's a crying. Dog. The phone keeps leaving me. Um, what do dogs dream? Can they take a little dog nap? We got, some, uh, we got some new DLC for Elder Scrolls Online. Which had a very MMO game trailer. Jesus. Uh, yes, it did. Yes. It's like, uh, uh, MMO trailers are always so goddamn pretty and amazing to watch. And then the realization sits in that, like, it's never going to be like this. It, it They always upset me. I'm like, if you could do this, just make a movie. I would happily, like, pay whatever to watch a movie of that. But Do you um, have... Um... What about the Death Loop looked really interesting Death and intriguing. Loop. Oh, I missed that one. Death Loop was a perfect example of what I was talking about. Uh, of here's these games, these game trailers with interesting concepts that I am not going to see how it works. <laughs> and so I'm just like, well, you gotta, you gotta explain how the fuck that works. 
There was. I, I just thought of one game from the Xbox thing that we missed. What's that? What? Twelve minutes. Oh, that weird that time oh, loop game. Oh, it was like game. an indie game, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. an indie time loop game to where you have twelve minutes to kind of solve this mystery, and oh. it keeps looping back to the start, finding new clues. I'm sorry that when we said death loop, that came to mind. Oh, okay. No, that's cool. I, I forgot about that too. Um, we got new footage of the Wolfenstein Youngblood. Uh, yeah, game which oh, that, is super cool. That music for that freaking trailer was amazing. Side note: I love that Bethesda feels the need to like remind us that they're just people, so they drop the f bomb at their conferences like they're cool. <laughs> it's like, woo, right. swear words, give us money. <laughs> We're edgy. <laughs> like, alrighty. See that? Okay, uh, so we had the death loop. We had. Uh, God, the worst part of the Bethesda conference, Commander Keen. Oh, God, yeah. That looked bad. That looked terrible. Commander Keen, never touching that. No, not at all. No, and they, they, it seemed like they went heavy with a whole bunch of mobile games at this one, too. Yeah, um, every conference had mobile games, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Which, ugh, I, I'm not saying Sweet. that, like, mobile games aren't, like, a legitimate medium to like have <laughs> games played I just, it's just not for me like i see them i'm like next like just get on to the next thing i, I don't i'm not a not a fan um let's see uh a couple of plot points that i'm, I'm reading from uh cnet.com todd howard mentioned bethesda's working on elder scroll 6 and starfield uh which i'm i'm still want starfield that game looks fun quakecon will feature more information on doom eternal um, Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot, the VR companion game to Youngblood, was shown. Um, and that was that was about it for Bethesda. It was a lot of like, uh, like the biggest moments were the stuff that we already like had seen Knew about. before, except for Ghostwire. Ghostwire, you have my attention. Um, yeah, Ghostwire looks in- intriguing. Yes. Um, uh, this is by, it's by the same guy who did. Um, just call was it just cause or it was the guy who did the uh, evil within evil within that yes. was it and the uh the game director for this game uh was so wholesome god damn what's her fucking name uh oh the, the was she was the, so happy the nice lady who who the told nice us lady. about ghostwire she was so oh. bubbly and i loved it it, it was <laughs> which is so complete contrast to what that game's trailer was. Right. <laughs> it's like, like Hello, it's spooky. It's and then, like, people are, like, good. disappearing and dying. And there's, like, creepy people. people. Was, and she's just like, hi, guys! Uh, no, it was, I, I It's good her. to be at E3! Y'all check out Yay! my game! Um, Death right. is here. What, uh, <laughs> you know, like, to, to wrap this one up, what would we rank uh, Bethesda? Uh, I'm going to give Bethesda a C minus to a D. <laughs> like, uh, yep, right around there for me too. Yeah, I'm at a D. It was a D, um, not a plus, not a minus, right there in that sweet spot. Um, so then we got uh, Devolver's uh, conference, which actually wasn't a conference; it was a direct. It was a direct for the first time, and I like that they they made fun of it too. Like they had, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, the Twitter was like on Twitter. They were like, "You need to watch the first two conferences because we're at we're we're continuing the story." Uh, so it was like continue the story oh, yeah. from the conferences. It, 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 it was canon to be to be had. Um, aside from all the like the jokes and stuff, like the 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 direct like scenes and stuff themselves were, were pretty funny. But as far as the games go, uh, the first thing they showed off was a game from Mediatonic called uh, Fall Guys. Um, which looked interesting, and like an interesting little uh, premise. Um, yeah, I think my two favorite <laughs> things were the Devolver bootleg. Yes. Um, which literally is just uh, eight of their own games, just like like a cheap version of it, like an arcade version of it. <laughs> Fucking, what was it called? Hotline Milwaukee. Cracked me up so hard. This was <laughs> for Hotline Miami. Cracked yeah. me up. 
Um, my um, personal. Oh, go ahead, Mark. I'm sorry. Now I was gonna say my personal favorite was my friend Pedro. Oh, dude, that comes out in like two days. It oh, does. and it's it's on. Uh, I saw it on the eShop. It's on sale too. So yeah, it's on Switch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much? Um, I think um, it was. I can pull the Switch up right now and find that out. That cheap? Maybe. It wasn't really that expensive. Yeah, it was like a little indie game, but God, I, yeah, I've been following that game for a little while. It, it looks like such a such a fun time. Um, well, look up that price for you right now. I love now. games with Thank style. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I, I just I love games with style. Um, it, what was it? Um, like Bayonet is like that. Like all those like stylish like platinum type games and stuff. Where they they have lots of flair. I'm super into that stuff. Also, yes, Dwayne, the 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 reverse horror game. Carry on. That was the name of it. Um, Carry on beasts. Uh, or Carry the, the, on your yes, way. Yes, it's called Carry on. Um, uh, I'm trying to find this. My yeah, reverse my, my horror game. game is such a neat concept. Uh, yeah, that game had had my interest. So right now, uh, on the for my friend Pedro. You can get it for sixteen ninety nine because they're doing a fifteen percent off of the pre purchase, but normally it's going to be nineteen ninety nine. Okay. There you go. All right. Cool. Thank you, Mark. The more you know. All right. So that was a quick one. Uh, did you? Do you guys have any things you wanted to say about the Devolver Conference? Uh, I love the RoboCop. I love the RoboCop vibe they gave to it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Um. You want to you want to rank this one? I give that one a B, B B plus. It was great. Tiffany. Yeah, I give it I give it about a B. I give it a B minus. Give it a B minus. <laughs> Just because they, they didn't have a whole lot of like interesting games. I knew about the Pedro game already. Carry on was the one game that I was like, I want to keep an eye on that. They look cool. Um, yeah, I'll give it a B minus. This it was pretty fun. It was a fun. Uh, I stayed for the for the jokes. Came for the, oh, yeah. came Definitely. for the content. Came for the, uh, came for the fun. But um, yeah. So then um, yesterday, we kicked things yes. off with good old Ubisoft, which their conferences have gotten a lot better over the years. Um, this one was Tech- somewhere in the middle. Oh, this was my favorite conference of the whole entire E3. Oh yeah. Oh right? really? Disagree. Yes. I'm sorry. I just- I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am sorry, and I didn't even watch it. Uh, yeah, I I loved it. Um, just because you know what they did. This is a what? novel idea, Eric and Tiffany. It's a novel idea. They started their conference off with gameplay. What? Actually, what? I'm gonna. Uh, yes, this. they had the orca- They had the orchestra, <laughs> orchestra and stuff. Fuck they had the up. orchestra. That orchestra was you not You mean they didn't insane. start it off with Just Dance 2020? I nope. I almost put money down on Little Nas X showing up and, and doing a, a dance version of, of Old Town Road. I was ready for it. Did not happen. It was Panic at the Disco, but that's okay. That's okay. I still love Brendan. Um, no, but yeah, like this was – I loved everything they gave me at this conference because it's everything I'm kind of playing right now. Um. With starting off with, you know, not just jumping into a CG trailer, but jumping into actual like CG to gameplay, a good solid like 15 minutes of gameplay for freaking Watchdog Legion. What a slick concept for how that game's going to work. Yes. And then and then right off the bat, oh, wait, you killed. And then it says permadeath. Mm-hmm. So it's that a permanent person's death. Done. Person's Tip- done. Tip- and then we move on to Granny. What? <laughs> Helen. You look like you were going to say something. What was on your mind? Oh, no. I got my toe stuck in my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next conference. Uh, oh, man. That was the highlight of, of that was her. Yeah. Um, her shoe. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Watch Dog Legion, that comes out March 8th. So they uh, either March 8th or March 6th. I don't remember exactly. Um but to me, that was crazy how, like, I hadn't really heard much about that game. Then all of a sudden, they show me almost, like, complete game gameplay. And Watch Dog Legion is coming out with a release date. 
I mean, it gave you a perfect idea of how that game is going to be. Um, mm-hmm. I liked, I liked that every character that you scan has their own, you know, attributes, their own stacks, their own little not stacks, stats, their own perks. Um, I like how they hover over the one guy who um, is addicted to adrenaline. Yeah, and his little his little skill thing was that he may die randomly. Um, I don't know if you noticed <laughs> that, but that was one of the things is that the, this this guy may die randomly, which is like, can you imagine like if you actually decided to play him and you're just like going around town and your dot di- your guy just fucking just goes into cardiac arrest or something and just passes out and dies. Um, I I love that. Yeah, I like that they all had like their own little things to them. Uh, it, I love that. I like immediately like. I was watching uh, a stream and like everyone in the chat was like, "Oh man, can't wait to do that Helen run." We're just gonna do yeah, like, the just whole do the whole game, game as the grandma. Helen. Yeah, yeah, like, um, fan yeah, no, that, perfect way to show off a game. Yeah, that game was that that show that sh- the show off the game was fantastic, and they kind of to me kept that energy through the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. And that's why I liked it so much. You know, they started off with a bang and kept going. Um, And it wasn't a title I already knew a whole bunch about. You know what I mean? It wasn't like Final Fantasy Remake where I knew a whole bunch about it and now you're showing me gameplay. Uh It's like, this is a game I don't know anything about. And then you show me the game and the gameplay to introduce what the game is about. Mm. I love it. Um, After that, was they uh, revealed that there you had Adventure Time being coming to Brawlhalla. Oh, so the two yeah. characters from Adventure Time are coming to Brawlhalla. Okay. That game's doing really well. I didn't think that game would do as well as it's doing. Because you look at oh. it and you go, oh, it's a Smash ripoff. But, like, they're holding their own. It's It's been lasting a while and people seem to be really into it. I know you love it. You're a Brawlhalla fan, huh, Mark? Oh yeah, I'm a Brawl Hall of Fam. No, I, I like I like it a lot. Um, one thing I like to do is go on and at you know like 4 p.m. in the afternoon when kids get off of school and beat the crap out of them in Brawl Hall because it's just fun. John makes a interesting <laughs> Friday, <Mark>. <laughs> <laughs> John made a comment. I'm reserving judgment. Watch Dogs One looked amazing at E3 as well. They turned out to be a hot turd. I so I think Ubisoft has uh, has gone on record and admitted that they shouldn't have. Um, presented the game like they did because uh, they knew like what they had wasn't realistic for what the final project was going to be but they showed it off like that anyways so if you look at there, there's a there's a video online that shows that gameplay demo and then shows the actual game the final product and what that looks like comparatively and they let they, there's a lot of attributes that are not in there um, as for Watch Dogs 2 uh, Watch Dogs 2 didn't have that problem. I remember seeing the footage of Watch Dogs 2 and the final product for the most part looked like that. Um, I, I think they've learned their lesson on that. I, I'm I'm pretty optimistic about 3. I think 3 will turn out just fine. But I, I do understand your, your uh, you know, reserving judgment about that for that reason. That's, that's definitely understandable. Um, yeah. So, um... After that was, uh, they went into Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and they start that trailer off with John Bernthal as the main villain yes. of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. If you're not sure who that guy is, he plays the Punisher on yeah, the, ne- the Netflix series Punisher. He plays Shane in The Walking Dead. Um, and so they have they show that whole trailer, and then all of a sudden, walking to the stage comes John Bernthal with a dog not sure what the dog was there for it's keanu's dog it's keanu's dog no (laughs) he showed up the next day it was just like listen here bitch you're gonna get the top me at e3 that's like your dog (laughs) woke dogs too (laughs) um yeah, you don't get to come at you three and then, you know, do what you got to do. Come on, Lori. Rainbow Six Quarantine. Oh, I got, yeah, well, they also announced for Ghost Recon, they're going to have Ghost Recon Delta Company, 
which is the community group. This one I actually have a full breakdown of. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yeah. I, my little <laughs> Sweet notepad. white pad. That is but, exactly, saw. right? I didn't even see anything. You can't see you any see writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> Look um, at it. I bought it today for three bucks. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so, uh, so he did that. Uh, they said it's out October fourth with open beta, uh, with a beta starting on September fifth. Uh-huh. So okay. you're gonna have beta for that game. Uh, Ghost Recon Delta Company. They're making their own um, community group for forum kind of thing that you can do through Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. Uh, the next thing they announced was the mobile game Elite Squad. Which was pretty much it's Tom Clancy's Elite Squad, which is pretty much like the main character from each one of the Tom Clancy games being a playable character on a mobile device, so it's like a mobile shooter. You think Tom Clancy's happy about his namesake being in these products now? I'm pretty sure his family's happy with the money. <laughs> pretty sure. I guess. Like times are so different now. Um So then we got um just Dance 2020. Yoo-hoo. 2020. They did 2020, which is their... Uh, they're calling it 2020 because it's their 10-year anniversary of Just Dance. That shit's coming out on the Wii. Yes. Not the Wii U. Mind Wait, you. The, the, the original Wii? The regular Wii. But How? not the Wii U. They are, they are still technically making games for the fucking Wii. In 2019. Yes, they are. So weird. Let that sink in. I don't, okay. what, I don't know what's with the hate towards the, the Wii U though. Oh, dude, Nintendo's kind of like just like they, they just kind of switch now. They're the fucking yeah, yeah step they're kind of like just kicking. They're kind of kicking the Wii U under the table, man. Like I was like sitting there, it's like a oh, Wii U. That was a thing. Oh yeah, it was for like two two days. Um, it it might be because like it's harder to use the motion controls with the Wii U. Yeah. Whereas, Whereas, like, the Wii and the, the Switch, pad. you have the, uh, Dan, the Joy-Con. It, but... <laughs> I was doing some sick dance moves. You'll find it on the Oh, Facebook oh, stream. oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, so after the Just Dance number, we have uh, For Honor, Shadows of Hitoshi, I think it was called. Bless you. Okay. <laughs> um, which was pretty much taking the For Honor series and bringing it into Japan. <laughs> I just saw your dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wait, I'm my, yeah, mine is ahead. faster than yeah. yours. Yeah, that's, that's. I just have to reload. Um, no, but yeah, so that looked interesting because it was bringing the For Honor series into like J- Japan. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, and then we get to. Rainbow Six Quarantine. Stupidest fucking project. I disagree. It looked more interesting than Rainbow Six Siege. Mark. Okay. How many how many zombie shooters do we have? And yeah, I still like them. It's 2019. And? It's 2019. I'm not allowed to like what I like? No, like you are. Just... Well, you kind of, you're judging me for, for you, liking what I like. I want more for you. But, okay, so we we <laughs> we have to say it this way. How many times can they redo a first-person shooter game? Like, like did you... Oh. What, what are we going to add next? I, just, I don't know. And, and then it's three players only? What the fuck is that? No, really? no, 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 no. You're thinking of Escape. No, no, no. It's three players only. Rainbow Six like, like, Siege. Like, Rainbow Six Quarantine, three-player co-op game made by a new team in Montreal. It has zombies and guns. John is yelling at you in the comments, Eric, about <laughs> being a negative Nancy. Yeah, I mean, like, Look, John, I'm, I want to try it. Let, if Look, it gives me, I, I will fucking post the 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 Slack conversation of you and your fucking Final Fantasy VII vendetta that you have. <laughs> Wait, we haven't got there yet. So no, we haven't gotten we'll there. Yet. We'll anyway. see what he comments then. All right, <laughs> he's just gonna be a negative shit. <laughs> um. So, 
So yeah, no, but uh, I'm I'm interested to see because I hope if if it does give me a storyline, um, it will be kind of like outbreak. If you give me that, that'd be cool. John, what did I do when Fallout seventy six <laughs> had a had a battle royale announcement? I groaned. I'm sick of it. Pick a better combat. Anyways. All right. Can, can you just imagine if we had John, like, actually... Oh. <laughs> you should hear last week's podcast. <laughs> oh, God. If you haven't, please go and listen to last week's podcast on Spotify. Oh. Definitely. Was there... Oh, the, the last game that they closed out with. No, um, you got a couple more. Do I? Oh. Yep. I have it all. Like I said, I have it all down. Oh, okay. Oh, highlight. Yeah. Sorry, highlight. The notepad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, so you got Division 2. Uh, they thanks the fans. They said June 13th or the 16th is free to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing three episodes of expansion. Episode 1 will contain two new main missions. They're taking you to the National Zoo and to the Kinney, Kinley College. Episode 2. I don't two, know how I feel about zoos. Like, are you going to end up accidentally killing animals? No, they don't let you kill animals in that game. Thank goodness. Okay. Um, episode two, you got the Pentagon uh, that they're going to be bringing. So you're going to be going to the Pentagon and um, giving us our second raid. Oh. Episode three. I went down. I went down, y'all. Okay, we're back. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm back up. We're alive. That was scary. Um, I got gotcha. you. Um, so, and then episode three of the division two, which will be a manhunt. So we're looking, I'm guessing we're looking for Aaron Keener, which is the main person in charge of all this. And we're, it looked like we're going to like Jersey shore or back to New York. <laughs> Are we going to have the cute thing around? <laughs> Where's the beach? Up. <laughs> Wait, what? You Snooki? said Jersey yeah. shore. Yeah. Yeah. Triggered yeah. I caught me. that after I said that. Um, and the other thing is, um, they announced that they're making a division movie with, Jake, with net, with Netflix, with Jake Gyllenhaal Jake and Jessica Jingleheim Chastain. Like, like live action or live action movie on Netflix. Okay. Um, that should be intriguing. It could be interesting. Could uh, be. then back to the subscription service of you play plus. Um, so it's going to be fourteen ninety nine for their subscription service, and it's going to be available on PC. Um, and then they announced their their way of trying to make a new esports game in Roller Champions. Did you look at the footage of that? It looks interesting. It looks interesting. Did you see it, Tiffany? No, I did not. It. It looks like it's trying to compete with with uh, Rocket League in a way. I mean, obviously, like a different concept. Like, I mean, there's no cars or anything involved, but like, it's definitely trying to hit that market as far as appeal. Um, it looks like it could be. Uh, it's got promise. I want to try. Okay. I want to sit down and play. You can you can download it for free right now on PC. Uh, there's an E3 access thing right now that you can go and play it. Um, it looks we'll it looks it interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it looks like a, it looks like they took like roller derby and basketball and kind of like mixed it together, kind of thing. Yeah. It, so it's like it, Rocket League, but it was people instead of cars. I would say instead of sort of, it, it's like sort of? it's like roller derby and Quidditch. Okay, because <laughs> you like you throw the 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 ball are people flying the, around the, on brooms no even better Ooh. Roller i'm skates. intrigued now um but yeah it it, it had uh it's got an interesting look to it I, I think it's one of those though that it would be more interesting to I actually sit and duck play. out this week what's that yeah no no nothing i'm talking to myself i do that a lot i apologize oh you're okay um yeah, uh, what else, Mark? That's kind of it. That's all I got. Um, I, yeah, uh, I'm really intrigued. The thing that got me was the three episodes for The Division, because I really fucking love The Division. Mm-hmm. Um, I love that we're going to Pentagon. I love that there's a possibility of going back to New York. I can't wait till um, y'all stream it again. 
I can't wait till we stream it again either. Um, and uh, Watch Dogs Legions for me, I, I after John put that up there, made me think it was like, okay, yeah, sometimes you have to watch out, and make sure, make sure with things. But for me, Watch Watch Dog Legion seems like a day one purchase. Oh yeah, for um, sure. I, so when I'm willing to put the sixty dollars down and get that yeah. one, you know. Um, but yeah, I give I give Ubisoft an A overall because I'm playing the majority of the games I'm playing right now are made by this creator and they're giving me more of what I like. Okay, cool. Tiffany? I mean, can I not rate because I didn't watch it? <laughs> I was at yep. work. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's that's fair. Um, <laughs> I we we actually did miss a game. Uh, Gods and Monsters. It's the last game they oh, showed. Oh, yeah. That was at the top of that list. I was wondering why I had the words Gods and Monsters. February 25th, <laughs> 2020. It was new IP. How weird is it that they didn't show anything for a game that's coming out so soon? Like, when did you say it's coming out? It's uh, The date they had on the screen was February 25th, 2020. That's not that far that's, away. No, not at and all. And the art style in the game looks way different than a lot of stuff that Ubisoft does. Mm-hmm. It's got a and so, Breath of the Wild vibe for sure. Yeah, it's like it's they're taking the Greek mythology and mixing it in with like Breath of the Wild artworks. But like Gods and Monsters was a, uh, I believe it was a novel um, where it dealt with um, gods and monsters of the Greek era. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it, 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 the idea looks really cool. I, I, I want to see some gameplay of it. Um, I'm just really puzzled that they, they didn't have gameplay of it. Uh, yeah. I wonder if they ran out of time. It, it looked like that cause they, they showed it and then immediately went to post conference. Like there was no, there was no, like, it was just like, it was just over like right after the trailer. It's really interesting. Yeah. Um, I would give Ubisoft's conference a, uh, I give it a C plus. Um, so. Some uh, people have opinions. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I, I am glad that you enjoyed it. I mean, yes. it, that's why we're all ranking these because we all have our own opinions and feelings about it. Um, exactly. So we had, um, my favorite conference. Uh, Square Enix. Um, oh, that is that is one of my favorites. I'm I'm really glad they actually did a live conference, and that I gotta give this the best thing out of that conference. Yes, those games were awesome. What was that freaking translator? Oh, right? the translator was. She was on point, man. Yeah, she was. She was definitely really good. Uh, Tiffany, I'm really curious because I know you're the big Square Enix fan. I want to yes. know. I want to know your thoughts about how the conference went. I actually I liked it and I also liked how like they gave out each game to me it kind of felt like almost the like the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3 when you had to pick your like from the memories and they had all the windows up I thought that was kind of like a nice throwback or maybe like the Haunted Mansion throwback Uh huh. so I kind of liked how they um, they brought back into those games and then, of course, I was down for, like, the Final Fantasies and the big Final Fantasy VIII reveal that we've been waiting on mm-hmm. so I can finally actually play the game. They just, and, they, they, correct me, they just, they basically, like, sharpened the textures, right, for the, the remake? Yes. Okay. Um, they didn't do, like, a, a seven deal on it. Um, what, with Final Fantasy VIII? Mm-hmm. No, no, they're doing no. their, they're doing, like, what they did with the Final Fantasy VII remaster. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, no, I, I, being someone who hasn't played eight, I was I was genuinely just like excited for those people mm-hmm. who care about that series so badly. I was like, yeah, like I mean, Mark, like you, you, I've heard you talk about eight a lot. Um, I was super happy to see that like you guys are getting that game after after so long getting it remastered. Um. I, uh, man, like, they gave us a, a B 
beefy demonstration of seven. They but gave they us a lot. I was. I was. If you give us a surprised. release date. If you give us a release date the night before your conference, you better show us some freaking beefy gameplay. Uh, I like how the gameplay is set up. I like I do. that. Uh, John, what can you? You're being a child, <laughs> as you put it. Um, He's just poking the bear. Well, I'm trying to figure out what he was going on by spoilers, bro. Tyler, you get out of here with that Superman 64 shit. I don't want to hear that remastered crap. <laughs> Fuck that. I'll um, tell you what. Show me, show me like an actual like polished, like better gameplay mechanic version of Superman 64. I'll buy it day one. But th- there's no way you're fixing that fucking mess. <laughs> um, um, gameplay. Final Fantasy 7 remake. Oh, yeah. Um, having, I got goosebumps watching that gameplay. Um, I have played maybe an hour and a half of Final Fantasy VII with John on the, on the channel. And like, Mm -hmm. um, just seeing how much work and detail and like, how, how remade that like the beginning section of the game is, is amazing. Like, that, that, uh, I forget the name of the boss, but he's got the tail that goes up. You supposed to attack him when his tail is up. Oh, the scorpion. The scorpion. Um, I don't know if that's the real name, but so, I just know him as a scorpion. <laughs> that fight was so cool to watch. It and, was. Like, it you're, looks like, like running around. Fight. You get, like, hide behind the fucking, like, barricades and shit. Right? Um, like, that's awesome. Like, I like that, like, they're bringing into, like, the side, uh, like, the debris that you can hide behind. Mm-hmm. And you're not just sitting there. And you can actually, like, move around the map. And also, like, that now you can switch between your players. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the way, the way that they did that. And I like how they kind of mixed... They kind of mixed the beat-em-up sword play of mm-hmm. 15, mm-hmm. but mixed it with that stop. And then you can kind of have your selection of what your next take is, of almost bringing a semi feel of what a Final Fantasy game is. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. okay, I get to select, okay, I'm going to do magic now, and this magic spell is going to be the fire, and I have a chance to do it like that. That, that to me, I really liked. No, I do like that they had that balance of, like, it, it's it's got a style that's going to appeal to, like, the people who are just coming on board for Final Fantasy. I know a lot of people that, that joined on when 15 came out. It's because mm-hmm. it has that more, like, action combat uh, it's more focused on you, you know, attacking freely. Um, and then there's those people that are, you know, they, they like that that old school tactical, like, turn-based style. And I think they found a really nice balance on that. Um, yeah, I, th- I think cool they watch. did. And I, I like the way they... they, they I, I love the way they showed all the gameplay of it. Um, it does make me more intrigued. I don't... I really want to play it before I buy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it looks it looks really cool, but it also looks like it can be really frustrating. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of one of those like I know you're going to get it day one, Eric. Yes, I'm probably going to come over to your house and Whoops. try it. Whoa, what happened? Go away. Okay. Um, yeah, probably going to come and do that. So can we can we just like also comment on the attention to detail that yes. they put into this game, like. Your weapons change, and now you can see the materia um, in the actual weapon while you're using it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, I was like, that, that was beautiful. I'm trying well, to find something, because there, there was something that I wanted to talk about that I found uh, crazy. Two Blu-ray discs. Yes. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, That Two was Blu- ridiculous. Do you know that, how much space fits on a a a, a, a two layer, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, two a, a double layer Blu-ray? Is no. it 100 gigs? Dual layer discs have a capacity of 50 gigabytes. Now, if I'm not mistaken, a three layer disc has 90 gigabytes. 
being on that... two discs, and this like they didn't make it sound like it, one's an install and then one's a. Uh, yeah, that's right. I was right. All together, it was a hundred gigs of. It's a hundred gigs. Game. Okay, um, that's that's a fat game. That's yeah. They're giving us a beefy game, and I it's mean... not multiplayer. You know, it's mm-hmm. like a beefy single player campaign. Yeah, but. Did y'all own like from the PlayStation One? It was what four discs? Four discs, yeah. Well, all, yeah, all the Final Fantasies were, but at those time, I think those discs only held maybe two hundred megabytes per disc. But that was still unheard of for like back hmm. then. Oh yeah, it's like I remember yeah. like Metal Gear Solid was two disc. Yep. And that was like the first time I held a CD case. I was like, why is it so thick? <laughs> What is this? Oh, I was like, I, but you did. You felt like you got your money's worth when you got when you picked up those games. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you picked it up and it's like, dude, I'm paying I, 30, John, 30 bucks for four disc. John, you have got to be trolling with these comments, dude. He is trolling. You know he's trolling. Like, I just, I want to hear his like genuine opinion of the game. Like, I just, he's such a turd all the time. <laughs> I just wanted to stop. <laughs> I like the game, like regardless of like it being like episodic or whatever, like the, the gameplay itself, like it's just so gorgeous. gorgeous and like looks just like it's just fun to play. It just looks like a really fun time. And um, and like I said, it's like I I love it. Looks gorgeous. It I'm gonna cry this time as my friend said i'm gonna cry in 4k now whatever <laughs> <laughs> whatever that happens um, um but yeah it's like I, I i still want to play it before i buy it and mm-hmm. so like that's where i'm at i did also really like the little the kitschiness of conti- uh new game continue remake that, yeah that was that was cool mm-hmm. a little kitschiness of that but, um, and, I, and I feel like they're going for, like, even if you played the original game, there's still things that you're not, you're going to find out in this game that they've added. And I hope it's just to increase the story. Mm-hmm. Oh. Because they're ta- it looks like, uh, from what it sounds, they're taking each section and making, and it, making it, just- it its own its own thing. Mm-hmm. Now, if they can take each section and make it each section its own 60-hour playthrough game... That might be incredibly crazy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we we got a we got a good. We definitely have like a good idea now of how that game's gonna play out. Um. I, I'm I'm excited for. It. I think it's gonna be sweet. Uh, the other. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is John. This is being John, a shit. To Midgard and beyond. <laughs> John, we aren't on the Avengers yet. Oh uh, no, Mid Midgar is uh, the the um, in Final Fantasy VII, and he just oh. made a joke before it about Buzz Lightyear. Oh, uh, <laughs> ignore me. I was like, I, I was like, oh, I don't think she played seven. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I slowly have been playing it, but. Oh yeah, the, I fell the, off when I when Tifa my new reveal, farming simulation came out. The Tifa reveal and the the bike scene had people hyped. Uh, yeah, the bike scene. Looked- it, the bike scene like meant nothing to me. I like I was like, oh, this looks cool, but like people were like freaking out about seeing the bike scene. I was like, okay, because um, that's something that's like you know not really in not really in Final Fantasy games. Seeing that the, kind of stuff. Yeah. Seeing the bar was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, to, we've been on that for, for a good while now. Uh, the Avengers game. Um, I know Mark's really excited about it. Oh, how can you? How can you tell? Um, let, let's. Uh, you mean to the Captain America shield in the background? No idea. No, not maybe, that at all. Maybe, maybe the Iron Man poster, the Captain America poster above it. Um, maybe it's. The- Maybe it's the, the, the little shield. I can't you know? see the Maybe shield. Maybe it's my nipples. 
I could see the um, shield when you did that because the microphone was in the way. Um. Oh yeah, it was. And now it just says Comic Con. Yep. Uh, I just saw the the I saw the, I saw the instant replay. Um. Yeah, I'm pumped. Um. My thing is when they I was like, okay, this this is interesting. Okay, and then when they introduced the voice actors. And I saw that Nolan North was playing Tony Stark. I'm like, I'm fucking on board for this game. Oh yeah, I'm fucking on board for Nolan North as Tony Stark, <laughs> and and Troy Baker as freaking Hulk. Let's do this. Uh, I'm intrigued by this. Uh, I I want gameplay, of course, like because I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be, but from the the trailer last night, it I'm looks like, like it's going to be good. Hang on. Okay. Whoops. Um, sorry, I was getting something fixed on my end. Uh, no, you're fine. Oh, you 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 did what I did, and you were right under packed house, huh? No, I I was trying to check something on the streamy, and uh, the sound came on. I was like, oh shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Don't want that. Gotcha. No. Um. <laughs> oh, we well, we actually did talk about Final Fantasy VIII. Uh. He was. He's at oh, work right now. We so. didn't deep. We didn't deep dive on it yet. Deep, because that was the only moment throughout all of E3 that actually made me yell. Fuck yes. It was the oh. only moment that made me yell. F yes. <laughs> so I kind of got that. We waited until I got off of work last night to watch the Square Enix conference. Hmm. So I actually got the Final Fantasy VIII remake. Uh, remake or remastered ruined for me because i went on facebook mm. and saw it <laughs> so i already knew it was coming um uh the my thoughts though on the we were talking about the avengers while i'm thinking about it uh i kind of hope some of the character models get updated a little bit uh, captain america yeah. looks rough or well, not rough, yeah but like he's his face model just looks like he looks like he's in his like late thirties. Yeah, I could see that. And yeah, wasn't a big fan of his outfit either. It's very like mili- militarized. It looks like it looks like the mixture between uh, uh, what is the a uh, SWAT team member and a catcher in baseball. <laughs> yeah. That's- like a, you're saying, it's like a cross between the two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, That's what it looked like. It looked like a cross between those two. And I was like, okay, he's a dirt bike, or I guess I don't get it. He's um. <laughs> he's a dirt bike. He rides dirt bikes. You know, okay. I mean, like the you ever seen like the guys who do like dirt bikes and do the tricks and stuff? They wear. Oh yeah, similar. yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it's just like yeah, he's a dirt bike. He's a dirt bike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> What, the, what was what was the date they put on that game? They actually dated it. Oh, they did. Yeah, they gave a date. Oh, hold on, I'll look it up. I think it was it was twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Um. <coughs> oh, Metal Fantasy. Gear. Metal Gear. No, I, this, when I hear the word twenty twenty, I think about that Megadeth song. And he's like, hindsight is always twenty twenty. <laughs> 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 Anyways, um, um, ah, but yeah, go away. They, but, go May fifth, twenty twenty. May fifth. Um, um, but I like. I kind of think they're going to do the death of Captain America. In it, like at the very beginning of the game. What a weird thing to spoil. Um. Yeah, but they kind of like spoiled it. To me, it felt like they spoiled it when they showed the statue of Captain America. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I was surprised that they like they didn't save that for for the for the game itself. Yeah. What a, like such a, like an iconic character just like biting it, and you see it in the first gameplay trailer. Uh, which I say gameplay trailer, but um, did, the did only... we have gameplay on it we, yet? It was yeah. it was ninety it, it... it was ninety five percent in game cutscene, and then five percent gameplay. There were small slivers of actual uh, gameplay. So I think like when you saw Iron Man from that thir- third person perspective flying through and looked like he was about to take off and fight. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure like a lot of that kind of stuff was actual gameplay. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But like to me, it was really hard to differentiate what was what. I'm glad they didn't give us just a CGI. Yeah. They didn't just give us a freaking CG freaking trailer. They actually uh-huh. seemed like they just gave us like in-game cutscene trailers, which I'm okay with. Um, but the thing that kind of made me worried, and it's also Easy Allies, I'll take that one from them too, was they didn't really like go heavy on story. They went heavy on co-op play and those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of leery, a little bit uh, on. I'm interested on how, the, how the the multiplayer aspect's going to work, and the fact that like they're adding new heroes as time goes on. Like, how does that how does that affect the story? Is it going to be like a whole like is the DLC that comes out going to have its own like little storyline with the character? Like, all those questions, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I like the the voice actor lineup though. Yeah, the voice uh, actor lineup was freaking fantastic. Man. Troy Baker and Nolan North in any game is it's beautiful. Um, I, I unfortunately do not know of the other voice actors, but uh, our good pal Ben did. He was happy about the, one of them. I think it was the girl who's playing Black Widow. Um, yeah, the girl who's playing Black Widow. And, like, I don't think anybody really knows who's the guy who's playing Captain America. Wait, the who? The guy who's the guy who's voicing Captain America in mm-hmm. the game. Like, it seemed like not a lot of people knew who that was. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, and which could be a reason. There could be reasons for that. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of wondering about it. You know, not really sold. Um, a hundred percent yet, but I was really really excited for it. Um. Main thing that made me mad though was they freaking you know they cut Hawkeye out again. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna add him as DLC. I think they're gonna add him. They know people want him. Yeah, uh, we're gonna add DLC. Yeah. Also, I did like the Ant Man part in the trailer. That was really yes. cool. They, they Pin. teased it weirdly though. Like they made it sound like it was gonna be like this like big thing, and it was just like a little clip. I was like, oh, oh okay. I'm cautiously optimistic. About that game. I think it's going to be a fun time. I think... Uh, I think there's just a lot of stuff that we don't know about the game. And I was, I was yeah. kind of bummed. Because, like... I mean, after, what, like, I think three years? Of, like... They, we had that little teaser trailer and then nothing, essentially. And they were like, we're finally going to show it off! And it was just... I expected more out of the reveal. Um, yeah, I th- it, I feel like, and I'll I'll say this for more than just this game, I feel like Avengers Endgame really spoiled us all for how freaking amazing that movie was for anything Marvel next or for any other series that's ending. Yeah, because because I'm not going to go into any spoilers on it at all, but yeah, it's like that game that movie was so good at ending a series. Now you're watching somebody pick up a series with all these new yeah. people. I, I saw yeah. a lot of people complain about like about the the faces, and I, I've even made like a, I made a gripe about Captain America earlier. But like at the same time, I, I do I have to remind myself that like we're probably also so used to seeing those MCU actors and actresses playing mm-hmm. those roles that seeing that's not how they else, look like in real life, like. Like see, seeing anyone else like in those roles and seeing them portrayed like visually differently is very jarring because we I mean we've seen them for so many years now. Uh, I think that's part of it too. It's just we've gotten so accustomed. People don't like change. You know how people are about new things mm-hmm. and changing up stuff. So when you see like a new face for on the same you know the same suit, you're like, well, that's not right. Uh, I mean, it goes back. It goes back into remake culture. You know, it's pretty much people want. They want what they saw in real life remade into a game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, which is weird to say that about comics as a kid who used to read it all the time. <laughs> um, uh, but um, yeah, the thing I'll give him, I'll give him this. They did a good job of mixing like the ultimate universe of comics look mm-hmm. with the movie look. 
You know what I mean? Kind of like mixing those two worlds it, together it for what to they're going a for. Nice mix, yeah. Um, and I kind of I, I liked that. I wasn't a fan of Cap's suit, but I can get past that. I was a I was a big fan of what they did with Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's even though Iron Man's not like, like as you can obviously see by the shield in the back, Cap's my favorite character. But like. I really like to see what they're going to do with his Iron Man story in it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at with that. I kind of want to get gameplay, want to see a little bit more, want to fed it out. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, cautiously optimistic is where I stand on it. I, I think um, as time goes on, we see more unfold. We'll, we'll start to have a better idea of like, am I on board with this still, or should I should I wait it out? Um, uh, but yeah, May 15th, 2020, that comes out on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and even Google Stadia. Um, which, I don't see that lasting long, but that's just me. Uh, let's see, was there anything else? Uh, may- oh, uh, we had the Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the hell that's going to be. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like it's mostly... Like, you get to play before, like, it's towards the end of the game, obviously. Mm-hmm. And you get to play as those characters before Sora shows up to, like, you know, save them kind oh. of thing. I think it would be, a, I, I wasn't sure if it was that or mm-hmm. if it was you're playing the perspective of the 13. It, well, that's that's basically what it is. But I don't think it's going to be a whole, like, you redo the game through 13. Yeah. But I feel like it's going to be like where they were all at, they all met up kind of thing, and they battled. And because if you would look each, uh, when they would show a character, their the person in their party was actually at the end game with them. So like you had Riku and Sora, or Aqua and Roxit, um, Aqua, Aqua and Ventus. And stuff like that. And then, like, I'm still kind of confused on what this final form is that I saw in the nope. DLC. Yeah. I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm going to... Kingdom Hearts already took my money, so, I mean, I'm going to play it. Um, just because I want to see if it adds more to the story. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's like I, I... Once that gets closer to release, hopefully I'll see a little bit more. But I'll play it. As time has gone on, I have overall Kingdom Hearts three kind of. It was a letdown. It, it was yeah. It, it my main issue with the game is how easy it was. Mm-hmm. I never felt like the only part that was kind of challenging is towards the end, but that's really just because like it's a fucking boss rush. Uh, yeah. Which it's fun. But, like, throughout the entire game, it's just, like, the the other thing is, like, you never felt, like, any of the worlds that you go to have any real connection with anything. Yeah, like uh, the first game, like, the first the first two games, you really felt that connection between each of the worlds. Like, it felt like it mattered that you went there and did stuff. Yeah. And, and the, these are just, like, field trips that you take. You have a little yeah. experience there, then you move on, and like in between each world, you have like major game plot. But uh, I, that's but not nothing to... like that that tied the world into the actual game. Yeah, uh, not not to get like super off track on that because like I could talk about Kingdom Hearts three for a while. But my my point was like I'm not super excited about that DLC just because like <laughs> three kind of let me down. So I'm like. <laughs> Is it really going to do that much more for me? You know. Uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still going to play it. It might not just be like I'm going to play it the day it gets released, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I think that about wraps it, though. On the major. Well, you forgot about like the 20 billion freaking Dragon Quest games, but oh, God, right. Yeah. <laughs> like Dragon yeah. Quest, the redragoning. Those are <laughs> like, those are a thing. Well, oh, that Bethesda guy will be happy. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where? And then they had, of course, the Square Enix subscription of like all the games. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because yeah. 
I was like watching it, and they're like, "Well, we just premiered sixty games," and I'm like, "Wait, where were the sixty games?" Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, what was what was the um, other thing? Was that sh- it looked like it's going to be a shooter? Oh God. Um, oh. Forgot the freaking name of it, but it looked intriguing. Oh, Anunnaki. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Oninaki, I think. Um, Thank you, Dwayne. Thanks, buddy. Oni Naki, no, that's another RPG. It was like it looked like a fight. It looked like a, fi- a fighter game where it looked like it took place in like like some kind of dystopian future. I don't remember. I think I like. I might be thinking of a different conference. The FPS indie game with no personality. That's what Dwayne said. <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> not. That I know which one. Martha I know which one you're referring about. to. Oka. Hey, what's up, April? Eric. Hey, April. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, that that was all for the like the major stuff, I think. Um, yeah, was, Square Enix. Square Enix is cool. What would you rank it, Mark? I'm gonna go with B minus. B minus. You gave me two things. You, 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 I, I'll give it a B minus, and I give it a B minus because, um, the kind of fail on the Avengers reveal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Avengers reveal um, was let down. Um, overall, it stays in that B realm because of how awesome the remake was, but really because you finally let me. You're finally going to let me replay Final Fantasy VIII remastered. Uh, that really pulled heart, um, but a lot of the the Multiple, multiple amount of Dragon Quest games really pissed me off. And I was just like, okay, we're going to get Dragon Quest Mobile. Dragon Quest the board game. I'm like, okay, get it. Was it Outriders? Outriders. Outriders that was, was it. Okay. I literally Tiff, just... Looked... I can, like, I'm going to high-five you through the camera. <laughs> I literally just looked up... I, I found a list of their games. And it was from the People Can Fly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like people can fly. They made Bulletstorm. They win in my book. Bulletstorm is one of my favorite shooters of all time. Bulletstorm is super fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, what would you rank square? I would give it a B plus. B plus? B plus. I would also give it a B plus. Um, I, I, think, I think the thing that doesn't make it an A for me personally was legitimately the Avengers trailer. Uh, just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, and yeah. I didn't even like I didn't even hype it up tremendously. Like I was I was curious more than anything, and it just it it wasn't anything that was it didn't wow me. Uh, so yeah, it was just kind of it was a thing. So we'll see more. Um, but yeah, uh, on to the final one this morning. We got you know what April. Eat it first. Um, we what got the final. Uh, April told me to eat butts. So I told her to eat it first. Uh, I didn't see that comment. Okay. Um, Nintendo. So, Nintendo. Nintendo from Nintendo this morning. Was Nintendo and Square saved E3. Uh, they really did. I loved how they kept them at the end and they just like wrapped it. It was beautiful. Nintendo, really... Nintendo Square and Ubisoft saved E3, alright? Um, let's start at the first Smash reveal, which was... Whoa, how did I miss that? The Dragon Hunter? I mean, the Dragon Quest guy? I didn't know. The Dragon I, Quest I just... being added to, to Smash Brothers. Side yeah. note, I, I missed some of the Nintendo conference. I didn't know Luigi's Mansion 3 was a thing. Yes. Yep. That's awesome. It, and it's going to be like you can play with a friend. So it's. Luigi. I'm sure me and, yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, Mark, you've got the notepad of wisdom. Break it down for me, buddy. Yes. All right. So, um, so first thing was the, uh, the Smash Brothers. So it's like, hey, we're doing Smash. Uh, we're adding the people from Dragon Quest, our friendly, friendly people over at Dragon Quest, into uh, Smash Brothers. So they started off with the Smash character reveals. So it's like, oh, yay, people are happy about it. 
Uh, then we move on to uh, I think there's a little bit of Link's Awakening. Oh, yeah. well, before yeah. that, before that, they had like a thing where they they had the the CEO in Japan of Disney, I'm mean, not Disney of Nintendo, saying <laughs> something, and they <laughs> then he brought then he brought on the U.S. person for Nintendo, whose last name is Bowser, but they did this thing with Bowser, and they had like a CG Bowser kind of fighting between them, and it was funny. Um, <laughs> It's really funny when you explain it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, it took me a while. I was like, why is Bowser on the screen? And then Dwayne told me that the, the other American guy's last the, name is Bowser. Yeah. I was like, that makes sense. Duh. You, they, you wonder why Nintendo hired him. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason that dude got hired. <laughs> because his last name is Bowser. Um, then we got Link's Awakening. Uh, so we got some gameplay of Link's Awakening, which was cool. Yeah, I really like like the dungeon aspect. The dungeon too, builder. Too. We do yes. a dungeon builder. Oh, there's a dungeon builder in it. Yeah. Oh, oh that's awesome. That was really cool. Um, then we go to Luigi's Mansion. Um, it, looks like, it looks pretty. Mario Ghostbusters. Yes. <laughs> like, it looks it looks fun. It that, looks that it looks speaks to me. That and to me and right I like there. the fact that you can make it two player. Oh, yeah. nice. So yes, yeah, I think you play up to four. I think it was up to four players because you can have two Luigi's and two. They introduced a new little character called Gooigi. But stay away from water. But stay away from water. But he can go places that Luigi can't go, like through spikes and through chains, because he's made of goo. Yep. Well, it looks like that. a little Slimer Luigi. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Um, did we get a release date on that? Uh, I believe we did. Um, Let me see if you, I can find. They didn't have. I don't remember seeing it on the the Switch store for pre order, mm -hmm. but I believe we did get it. Did did get a release date on it? it I just can't remember it. Okay. It just says later this year. Let me see if I can find some. Take some more down. <laughs> Splooge <-y. laughs> Um. Yeah. So that that game looks a lot of fun, and it, it looks like you can, if, from anybody who is five years old to freaking a six year old, that just game just looks fun. Yeah, it just says later oh, just 2019. Says late 2019. That means winter, so probably yep. November or December. Christmas. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Um, they did sort of give us. It's a. It looks like a little. It, it, I'm not sure the gameplay on it, but they did give us a Dark Crystal game. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Age of Resistance tactics. Age of, tactics. Yeah. tactics. Tactics. Thank you. Can't it was, speak right it, now. It kind of it kind of looked like a like a Final Fantasy Tactics, but with Dark Crystal. Okay. And and I kind of like how they brought in. I guess it's the older. I don't know what she is, but like they brought her in from Netflix to introduce the game. Uh, all right. Yeah, 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 they did. Um, yeah, yeah no, nope. Yeah, that was cool. Um, then the next, we got the remaster of Trials of Mana. Oh, oh yeah, and then the collection of Mana. Uh, yeah, that and that's the collection of Mana is available now. Like you yes. can go online and buy it now. It's forty dollars, was it? Yes. Um, and then Trials of Mana, the remaster, is coming out in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> they need 2020s. Okay. Um, then after that, they're making Witcher 3 for the Switch. Switcher. Switcher 3. Switcher 3. Even uh, CD Projekt uh, made that joke. Uh, CD Projekt Red? Which, Witcher 3 is going to be the new Skyrim, I'm calling it. Yeah. I, yeah. I can see it. Yeah. It, I mean... I'm fine with it. That game could be re-released as many times as it wants. It deserves it. Um, but I, I'm worried about, like, it doesn't, like, the Switch doesn't have the power like the PlayStation, the Xbox, and the PC does. Dude, look. Wow. So how made, is this going to play? After they made Doom and Wolfenstein run on the Switch, anything's possible. I want to say this. For people who haven't played Witcher 3, dude, we're giving you every fucking option to play it. All right? <laughs> Like, if you haven't played Witcher 3, Now's you got the, the PS4, Xbox, Switch, PC. Just take it. Just take your pick on where you want to play this Witcher 3. So, so, goddamn so I own it, 
and I have yet to. I got oh, stuck and I've never picked it up again. <laughs> it, it is. It's... Where'd you get stuck? I got. St- I think it's what the wild. One of the first wild hunt battles. Like he has some hellhounds, and I just kept dying, and I just gave up. I even have the strategy guide, and it was no help to me. Yeah, that game is not. If you don't. It's very much discover everything as you go, if not find an online guide as quick as possible. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd use an online guide for finding some of the the outfits and stuff. I remember I get finished the, the Witcher class gear that lets you like upgrade the armors and stuff. So I went and like looked yeah. for them, but uh, um, but yeah, Witcher's coming to Switch. That's super cool for Switch owners. Yeah, um, and then we had the weirdest moment. That made no sense for the conference. Um, they did so. They did a Resident Evil thing, but oh, it was like a, yeah, it was five like a live X, five and six. But they revealed five and six. But like the thing they did to reveal it, like made two, no sense. Two young people sneak into a well, that really sneak because they had a key, but they go into a creepy house and they're playing it in the dark, and I'm just like. On this old musty couch, and then they're freaking out, and I'm just like, "What is all this?" That like, is weird. And then, then it's like, "Oh, we're just saying that we're releasing Resident Evil. What, I, Resident Evil Five and Six is now available on the Switch." Yeah, that's but we're about going it. to do this like overproduced there were thing couple, to show that there were a couple of uh, trailers like that where it was like super high budget for like a fucking phone card game. I think oh, there was yeah, one that like was... that at the Bethesda <laughs> conference, and I was like, "There Why? was one like that." That's the I, I think it was funny though. Like as the the two people were playing it, like the guy would get tired, so then he would give it to the girl, and she'd start playing it, and then she gets stuck, and then she'd hand it back over, and they would just like keep going back and forth <laughs> Jesus. until she started getting scared. And like, who picks up a pillow and tries to hide behind it, and you're in a musty house? That's how you get scabies. Like just <laughs> that's how you survive. Um. <laughs> Um, Shit. so, so from, from that weird thing, that was probably the only, that was the only knock I had on the Nintendo conference was that, cause they had a very solid direct. Yeah. They did. yeah. yeah they did. Um, they have fire emblem three, mm-hmm. um, which I know Dwayne already said he was going to buy it. Yep. <laughs> probably he already, already said it was gone. Um, that, and then to me, uh, I wasn't too thrilled about this game. But even though I like the series, uh, they're giving us Contra Rogue Corp. That looked interesting. The art style did not fit Contra mm-hmm. in my mind. So I'm kind of like, that. that's where it's like a little weird for me. Because Contra, I always think of these like kind of bloody games. Yeah. And you give me like, and we're going to add the panda bear. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it had a weird uh, vibe to it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I was confused on that game. I was like, "Where did this come from?" It reminded me. Uh, it reminded me of a 3D version of it was like this TV game that oh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of it, but it, it looked like that. It, it it looked like a maybe a twin stick shooter. Mm, yeah. Um. But also, okay. coupled with that, they did say that they're releasing all. Contra games as a collection on the Switch, oh and that's available today. Which I think I saw it was like 20, 20, it's 20 bucks. bucks. 20 bucks for all of them. For Every all single Contra them. game. And it's available. You can go on there and buy it right now. Nice. Cool deal. It did look like, Dwayne, you're right. It did look like a Duke Nukem arcade game. Oh, we're going to let Duke Nukem die. We're just going <laughs> to let him just gonna let him get some rest. He, uh, um,. It's it's he's tired of being the king. Um, the next game I thought was something else than what it was. It was Demon Machina. Yeah, I didn't know what to make of that. The trailer uh, it was rem- like was I don't know. It was weird to me. The trailer was weird. It reminded me of like a mixture of like Gundams, yeah, but also looked like Zone of Enders. I'm not sure if you guys ever played that game. Oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I haven't uh, played it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I could see that. Definitely have not played it, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it was uh, Kona- uh, Kojima. Okay. Made a, made a game called Zone of Enders, and it was say, like a robot robot fighting game in space. 
What more could you ask for? I mean, it was Gundam? a lot of fun. It was Gundams, <laughs> pretty much. He wanted to make a Gundam game, and they wouldn't let him, so he made Zone of Vendors. Gotcha. And it was fantastic. I um, love that Kojima just goes, oh, you don't want to let me do this? Fuck you, I'll do it myself. <laughs> like, yeah. Yep. Well, it's like they, didn't, they, didn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't make, let him make an Escape from New York game. So he's like, oh, well, I'm just going to name my guy Snake and make a ma- Marine game. <laughs> um, and we got so that's that's coming out in 2020. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah, they, they didn't give it all these. They didn't give hard dates on anything. They only gave year, like year, early 2020, late 2020. That's all they really said. Because mm. this Demon Machina website I'm on has it. Really state for seven uh, September thirteenth. So they actually just, have a date. Let me just double check that with Google. With the Google. Okay, Google. Um, yeah, because uh, during the direct they didn't give hard dates. During the direct they just gave like winter twenty twenty or fall twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Um, because they don't want to make the mistake of like we're giving you a hard date. Hey, we can't meet that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it says September thirteenth, two thousand nineteen. So oh, that's I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's completely. I could, I could have, I could have heard it wrong because I was trying to go through so many at once. Um, the next one is Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, I was confused on that. I was like, "What is this?" That is a game that was on the PS One uh, a while back. It looks like a remake, either a remake or a reboot. But Panzer Dragoon was a very uh, popular i think jrpg um, yeah on the ps1 and that's that's what this is apparently uh from what i heard but from some listening to other smarter people than i on <laughs> than this subject on this subject they were saying like this is like a remake of a very like serious and every a lot of people were happy about it mm. it was okay. a sega saturn game gotcha um uh, um you did did you talk about so I, I'm only mentioning this game because the trailer actually had me laughing. Ah, correction on our part. Uh, Panzer Dragoon was a launch title for the Sega Saturn. Oh. Thank you for correcting me. Um, I think it was on the PS1 though uh, as well at some point. But uh, but yes, Sega uh, Saturn. Was No More Heroes 3. I've never heard of this game. <laughs> but just like <laughs> how he was like spit talking. I was like, oh my god. I can just laugh at this the whole time. No yeah. more heroes. The first no more heroes game. You're you got you're like you, you got like a sword right like made of like light energy. To recharge it, you literally have to like jack off the Wii remote. Oh my to god! Get the, That's the energy funny. back. It's hilarious. That game has That's so good much shit. character. Um, I, I could just about imagine what they're gonna do with the Joy-Con then. Oh man. Um. Let me see what else. Uh, so after that, they they just kind of like touched on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah, they did because they they did a direct a couple days ago showcasing that. So they kind of yeah. they kind of yep. just like go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and then they also did said that like even though you can't use the actual Pokeball Plus in the game, you can still like put your um Pokemon on it and you can bring them with you. Something cool yeah. might happen. Something cool might happen if you continue to use it. Such bullshit. Just tell me. <laughs> like, exactly. Oh, like, don't be a... They're gonna find me all the candies, guys. I, all the candies. You're gonna find you all the candies, or they're, or they're like, they'll upgrade from being gestated in your hand for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, after that is a game I'm interested in, which was Astral Chain. Hell yeah. Oh, that yes. game's gonna be sick. Um, and that's what 2019 release on that one. Um, nice. yeah, that game looks interesting. Like it, very cool concept. Hmm. Um, the next game, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it wants to be. Um, it is called Empire of Sin. Oh yeah, it I looks was like confused on that. Like it looks like it's a running your own crime syndicate. From a Sims perspective. Oh yeah, it looked like. <laughs> so yeah. totally not up Eric's alley at all. Yeah, it looked like Al Capone Sims. Astro Astro Chicken Astral 
astral chain, John. Oh, oh he knows. Don't he knows. Astro chicken. Don't be I'm, a jerk chicken, John. I'm surprised he didn't go with the other way he could have said that. Ben Ladies and Norman gentlemen. Joined. Ben! A long lost, round of applause a long ben lost member. Hi, Ben! Hello, buddy. Uh, ben, we love you. We were talking about um, your love for... Um, I forgot what we were talking about. We were say, I was saying that Ben uh, really liked something earlier. I can't remember what it was. Um, <laughs> anyways, moving on. Uh, we were at Astral uh, Chain and what else? Empire, Empire, Empire of Sin. Oh, yeah, the Al Capone-looking thing. Al Capone-looking sim game where like it looks like you have to build your crime syndicate and take over a town. Mm-hmm. Um, then after that, they gave us Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Which I was confused on because I thought it was the same thing as the Square Enix game. No, no. Uh, yeah. At first so, I was like, wait, we're getting two of them? In- I'm going to laugh if that game ends up being better than the big like, high production one. Yeah. Uh, and for me, I've always enjoyed the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. So, like, yes. I, I, and I love that it's on the Switch. Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that was fun. It's just a, a classic... It's a it's one of those games where they just give you a whole bunch of different comic book storylines together okay. and they take you on a journey. Hopefully yeah. a good journey. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's anything like the other two uh, alliance games, it'll be a fun time. They're they're very right. they're very fun to play with friends. So so it is a co op. Yes. It's four player so maybe, co-op maybe, it should be. Maybe we can live stream it one time, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be down I'd with that. About that for sure. Um what do we got next? Uh, next, we have uh, because you know it is Olympic season coming up. Oh, we yeah. have Mario yeah. and Sonic Tokyo Olympics. That is true. Is it... I was trying to figure out what that was. It looked kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. It, it does. It looks kind of fun. Uh... Um. Yeah. So we had that. Um. And then the next, we went into the highlight reel. Which do you want me to do a quick shoot through the highlight reel? Yeah, you just say you just quickly spew out every name that. All right, so first one we got Spyro. All right. Silk Song, which I'm looking very forward to, which was the the sequel to Hollow Knight. Um, Nino Cooney. Okay. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons, which mm-hmm. we totally skipped over that game. That actually looked like a fun little dungeon game. Like it because looked like a fun. It'll be good because who a... plays Minecraft? Yeah. All the kids are playing Fortnite now. Right? Fortnite. What is that? <laughs> That's that dance the kids do, the leg thing. They oh, jump into it? the leg. Oh, right. God, no. Um, Let's not do that, Mark. Yeah, I'm too old. I got gray in my beard. I shouldn't be doing that. I, we, um, don't, <laughs> we don't need Megan having to come resuscitate you over there. <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, so then we have Blades. Elder Scrolls coming to Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, My friend Pedro. Yeah. Uh, Doom Eternal. Yeah. Uh, Sinking City. Okay. Wolfenstein Youngbloods. Um, this game that literally the name of it was um, Five, but it was like tally marks. Oh. Okay. Oh, um, that's Dead by Daylight, my dude. Oh, that is. <laughs> yeah, Dead by Daylight. <laughs> 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 It's okay. It's okay. All they all they showed was tally marks. Yeah, no, it's dead by daylight. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true, John. I do have pubes. I'm way too old to be doing that shit. Um, Alien Ice Aliens, like the movie series Aliens Isolation. Yeah, the, okay. that's a very popular horror game. Um, Dragon Quest long. Builders. Uh, Just Dance. Of course. Uh, the one we're looking forward to, Catan. Catan. Uh, that's the the reverse horror. Um, Dauntless. No, no, no. Reverse horror was Carry On. Catan is a. Uh, oh, never Settlers mind. Settlers of Catan. Oh, Settlers of oh, never mind. Yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. Uh, Dauntless, uh, Super Mario Maker Two. Which I think is out at the end of this year. Side this note, just before we move on. The Mario Maker 2 Invitational 
was amazing and was a beautiful showcase of what that game is going to be like. I don't know if y'all saw the Invitational. If you haven't, go find it on YouTube. It was fantastic. What a beautiful... I like I, it, it sold me on the game. There's so many possibilities for it. It was very cool. Go on. No, yeah. That, uh, that was the end of the fast-paced moment of where they had all the titles. Um, my hand was tired after writing. Um, <laughs> I can just about imagine. Uh, so then, um, I mean, you can't pause it because it's live. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so then, after that, we go into the f- best way to reveal a new character, which I loved. They the did for out. Smash Brothers. <laughs> the fake out of the dog and the duck from Duck Hunt was actually none other than Banjo and Kazooie that coming was, to Super Smash Brothers. That felt nice. It, it's nice to see Banjo Kazooie get like something good for once. You realize the last thing they had was nuts and bolts, and that game was fucking terrible. <laughs> it's so good to see something good happen to Banjo Kazooie. Uh, that made me I, happy. I agree. Um,. They maybe have. I like the way they did the reveal, and you know they actually showed the gameplay of how they fight in it. Feels like I've never played Katana. Neither have I, John. Oh my um, god, it's so I, fun! I've never played it either. I've heard of it. Really? But, yeah, I've never played it. Oh my goodness! Um, <laughs> board game night for and real. This next, this was the last one. I'm going to pass this off to Eric. Okay. To to talk about. Uh, so. <laughs> the, it, it totally took me off guard. Um, I I legitimately thought the last trailer was going to be Metroid Four. Although they were going to have like another <laughs> trailer for Metroid Four, um, or at least like like a Mario Odyssey Two. No, we got Zelda, and not only did we get a Zelda, but we got a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild. Which wait, 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 wait! Did we skip over Animal Crossing? Oh God, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, and you're I, hurting I'm, me and Kelly's heart right Tiffany, here. I'll I'm let you sorry. Talk about Animal Crossing. Talk about Animal Crossing before we go into this. I I'm sorry that I I I took a nap at that game. My bad. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously Kelly and I have been waiting for the newest Animal Crossing, and I like how like you start on a deserted island and you can literally just like build it up to what you want. So it takes me back to like older Harvest Moon games and a little bit of Stardew Valley. But, like, you can make paths and everything. And it looks like it's going to be so much fun. And you can um, invite your friends over. So I wish Kelly was here so I could actually, like, talk to her about it. And we can go over it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Those games are so not for me. Yeah, John's saying it best for once. Uh, chore Simulator. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Definitely chore simulator. Yeah, it's just I mean, if I want to do that, I could do it in real life and like have eight K visuals right in my right in my well, face. Yeah, it's you know it's like I mean? the same but thing you... why I don't really get like Stardew Valley or any like farming games and stuff yeah, like that. I, can't do I it. just don't I'd rather, not my thing. I'd rather bleed out. Um Yeah. So Which which that's what I say. It's basically me and Kelly's game, so I'm I can't wait till we get it so we can we can play it together. We can make our own little village. Uh, yeah. Um, but no, that that was super big. Uh, a lot of people are happy about about that coming out. So that comes out. They got a release date for it next year, right? Next year. It was supposed yeah. to be 2019, and then it got pushed March. back to March 20th, 2020. Yeah. So that and he apologized. He he. They told us they wanted to bring a better game, so that they were pushing it back. I've never had a complaint about a game being delayed so that it could be better. No. That's all you can ask for. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so back to the Zelda thing. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to no, cut you off from Zelda. That was okay, that was super important. We needed to talk about that. Um, uh, but yeah, back to the Zelda thing. Um, a direct sequel to Breath of the Wild, which uh, I don't think we've gotten a direct sequel to a game. Like a following game. a game since since Majora's Mask. Uh, we did get a link between worlds, but like that came out years later, and ended up being like a sequel to Link to the Past. Um, but like having it be right after that's the next game, like there's a story to finish here. 
um, was really, really exciting. Uh, also, the trailer was really dark. Um, having having uh, Link and Zelda seemingly underground Hyrule Castle. Um, it looked like they were... It looked like they were trying to, like, finish off Ganon for, like, good. Like, they wanted to make sure that, like, he was not coming back in any way. And I don't know... It looked like Link had some kind of power. If you if you close it... Uh, not close it. If you pause it on his... on the one, There's one shot in particular. His hand is glowing, like, bright green. Yeah, I noticed that. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what kind of voodoo magic they got going on. Well, I know um, it's like they saw that, and then you saw like Ganon pretty much like, like the life force sucked out of him. Yeah, he was all like, like weirdly zombified and shit, and uh, and uh, like, like lightning strikes, and like he like he wakes up. Um, Ganon looks fucking terrifying. Zelda's got a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> um, I haven't played. I haven't played all of Breath of the Wild, so there are two theories going on right now for the Zelda game one is that it looks like this game might be co-op that'd be interesting that would be that'd be the first time in a Zelda game yeah and the second thing is that they're thinking that uh John you haven't even sat down and played it all the way uh (laughs) trying to sabotage my my flow well, keep um, going, keep going, dude. Yeah, keep going. Uh, Disregard the the messages on your screen. Somebody somebody made a comment about. I think there was a a comment made a while back about the fact that like Zelda hasn't been a playable character because like her hair can like get in the way of like armor and like all this stuff like like hair textures or whatever pain in the ass is why they never made her like a playable character. They cut her hair, so there, this, is a, this is a theory that, like, she's going to be a playable character now. Um, wait, wait, you mean they just couldn't put her hair up like I, normal I girls do? Know. Some, maybe, there might have been somebody <laughs> bullshitting. Uh, I, I read it in a comment. Um, but uh, the idea of it being co-op, though, would be really interesting. Um, having, like, a buddy, like, and it could be, like, local or it could be you know, online, like, having a buddy to, like, do, like, quests and adventures and stuff with in a Zelda game, like, that idea alone, like, blows my mind. Um, You can get Zelda back in green, and it'd be your buddy. Not Zelda, Link back in green. Oh, yeah. Uh, I I like his, I like his outfit in the, uh, in Breath of the Wild, and if you want, like, if you get all of the, if you complete all of the shrines in Breath of the Wild, you do unlock the Tunic of the Wild, which is like an original, like green tunic type thing. Okay. For for Breath of the Wild, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but yeah, um, very cool trailer. Uh, it also looked like at the end of it, like Hyrule Castle started moving. Yeah, it started. It looked yeah. like it was coming up from the ground. Yeah. Which, so Hyrule Sky Castle, uh, but yeah, um, it's bringing a whole new meaning oh, to the what word Kai. What if it? Hyrule. What if it like circles back to the original Skyward Sword, and they go in the sky again, the city in the sky, Skyloft or whatever it was called, right? Yeah, that could be it. it. All comes, all comes back full circle. Um, so I legit thought that this was like. Um, some DLC or something that was happening. I was not expecting a sequel. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that... For, for the longest time, it has been, like... You know, it's, like, set in another universe or, a new, you know, another part of the timeline. Yeah. So it's really cool to just be like, oh, shit, like, there's there's more of the story that they want to share with us. So lots of theories and speculations going on right now, but definitely one of the... If not the best part of the Nintendo conference. Um... So yeah, um, what would so, you yeah. rank the Nintendo conference, Mark? I'll give Nintendo a, a B. Give them a um, B. Yeah, to me it was, the way I kind of see the conferences was like Ubisoft, Nintendo, mm-hmm. Square. Um, yeah, I thought Nintendo did great. They came with uh, some good games. 
Um, I, yeah, uh, I, I, I didn't expect to like Luigi Mansion's trailer because all it was was gameplay. It I'm was gonna, that I'm wasn't like to go back and watch it. It was nothing it, but gameplay. Really, it's good. Yeah, and like it, I, I didn't realize I needed that game in my life. But like, <laughs> yeah, like I really want to play that. Um, what else on this list? Let me reopen my notebook. Um, but yeah, I mean, like for me, it was a, a definitely a solid freaking B. Um, um, Astral Chain looks like it's going to be amazing for me. That demon machina game i love if i get to play as giant robots and blow shit up so that's going to be amazing yeah um and i can do it in the palm of my hands um i'm a fan of the marvel ultimate alliance games and it's coming out soon um i'm getting a dark crystal game even though it might not be the one i want it could be fun um and i get to play all the freaking contra games again yeah like and it wasn't like oh i get to play in like six months no i get to play that st- today like probably after this i want to go play contra yeah <laughs> so yeah thank you nintendo yeah they had a, had a solid one what do you what about you tiff so for me i think this is my a this is your a this is my a yeah like yeah. they brought a solid lineup besides like one or two things they gave us gameplay on a lot of things so hmm. and i like that like a couple of things that they showed, like the um, the collection of mana and the Contra games, like they are available now for you to play so you can get ready for the next game coming kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I stayed behind and I watched like the Treehouse stuff and they had gameplay from the new Pokemon game. And they talked about like the new, how like you can co-op with people and uh, if like someone wants to trade with you, a uh, little notification pops up and then they also showed like the big giant Dynamax battle now that they're calling them. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool to see all that laid out. Especially it wasn't actually at their E3 conference but it was in the treehouse following. Yeah. So And of course the Luigi, Luigi's Mansion. I'm always down for a co-op that we can play at home. So. Um, I'm going to give the Nintendo conference an A-. minus. Uh... Only because the first Smash character DLC reveal was like, I had no idea who it was, and I was just like, all right, <laughs> that's that, that's a thing. I could see that. Yeah, I was just like, all right, cool. Uh, another sword character. Um, God, they have too many sword characters now. Um, other than that, though, I mean, I didn't necessarily care about all the games that were shown, but like, they were all like crowd pleasers. You know what I mean? Definitely. They, 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 uh, they, it was just like hit after hit after hit. And it was just pretty consistent all around. Um, and God, does Nintendo know how to end a conference with like their biggest thing? They really do oh, yeah. understand that like you want people to like leave a leave like a, a presentation with like the biggest thing at the end of the presentation. You want that to stick. You want that to last with you. And like mm-hmm. they're always really good about doing that. They have never ended a conference where you're just like, "That was the last thing they showed." Like, no, you're always like, "Oh shit, that's cool." Um, well, even so, yeah. like in the even like an Ubisoft's conference ending it with like not just giving us like a little tease of gods of warriors, uh, uh, gods and monsters. You know, mm-hmm. they. I mean, yeah, those two, two. That's why I think both of those are my favorites. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah. One thing I'll, I'll be, I want to want to say about Nintendo, just in general, I actually don't like Smash Brothers. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, I, I like Smash, but I can see why. You... It's just like it's too much. I like playing without items. Get rid of the items. If you, if you're like into fighters, much better experience. Okay. I just end up falling off the side of the platforms anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> I kill myself more times than I kill somebody else. Uh, one thing out of watching this whole conference, I was watching on day one, the, the tournaments they had. And I didn't realize how much I really freaking want to play Splatoon. That game looks fun as hell. Well, Splatoon 2 is a fun time. Um, but we are, I think we are at the two hour mark now. Yep. Uh, we are going to wrap this up. I want to I ask each of you 
complete E3 experience, what would you rank it? Overall? Overall. Everything. Everything into, uh, into play. C plus B minus? That's where I'm at, too. C plus B minus. I'm more of a C minus. I think I'm, I'm, thinking I'm at... No, like a C. Like a straight up C. It was just... It was very average E3. It, to me, there wasn't like really any like huge... <laughs> all right john 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 comments two a, hour mark name of my me. sex taste God, um, but i think i think the one thing that like we were all missing is we miss sony like sony normally brings sony so, uh it's so, I, as much as i love sony last year's e3 was sony conference was fucking weird um, yeah yeah but and, Sony but always like, knows how to knows how to do a conference for sure. And and, I, and I'll say this: like Sony also had the the right mind of knowing they don't have anything that's like groundbreaking to bring out. Whereas like they knew like the person who's making their groundbreaking thing, which was Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Seven, mm-hmm. also had that Avengers game to show off. So it's like okay, they're going to be go- they need to go. Um, there just wasn't really any like. Oh my god, you know, like oh god, like God of War dropping, yeah, orchestra playing, you know, there wasn't that, yeah, those kinds of things. They, um, but I mean, like being able to think a game that we all thought was lost because they lost the source code and coming back, come back. Mm. like, for, like, be able to freaking play as Squall again to freaking wield the gun blade. Like I can't. I, I guess I can't stress enough how freaking forward I'm looking forward to playing through Final Fantasy VIII again. And I think the collection of mana has a final, like the very first Final Fantasy in it. Is mm. that what I saw? Mm-hmm. It has. Yeah. As well, it's, it's a first mana game, which was the first Final Fantasy, which was Final Fantasy One. One. Which would which... usually be the first game of a series. Haha! <laughs> You're yep. so funny, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the shade. But like, okay, so <laughs> was that the one that didn't come to the? So all three of these games in the collection of Mana didn't come to the uh, United States, right? Uh, no, Secret of Mana did. Secret of Mana did, but the Final Se- Fantasy and the, the other Final, one did. Final Fantasy one came later on. Uh, I, I want to say whenever PS one came out with like a pack, okay, of like original games. Um, and then Final Fantasy 2 is actually 5, and Final Fantasy 3 is actually 6. So. Um, so confusing. Yeah, it is. For, for we Americans, it is very confusing. For the <laughs> Japanese, they're like, you American stupid. Um, right. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, yeah, E3. I'm, I'm actually, actually kind of a little bit more with you, Eric. Probably C. Because yeah. it was, I, well, I, I wasn't disappointed, but I wasn't overexcited. I think part of the issue, and I, I want to close it out with, with this. Um, I think part of the issue is that we're at a point now. We are at the. We are at the point that is right before next gen. So there's yeah. kind of this yeah. lull right now, where like, yeah, there's like content that's coming, but like, you can tell that they're saving it because like. All that shit's going to be on next-gen stuff, and they're not ready to show off the next-gen stuff because it's still, like, in, like, super amounts of development. Uh, it, it's a long way from now. But I don't think uh, until next year are we going to get – I think next year's E3 is going to be something else. I think it's going to be fucking awesome. Um, this hey, is, a, this feel, is a weird point right now. And I feel like it's not going to be next year's, but the year after once they understand the next-gen – Mm-hmm. And how to bring it? I think in two years we may be having an awesome E3. Yeah, mm-hmm. we, we always go through like th- these like weird yeah. <laughs> peaks with it, where like right before next gen comes out, uh, like the year before next gen comes out, it's super boring, and then two years after the you know, it, but you know, next gen is here, then we start getting like the really good shit, and then it's sort of like plateaus for a Mm -hmm. few years and then yeah um it's interesting how that works um 
But yeah. And then I feel like it's just like they just start remastering games just to bring something to E3. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, remastering video games, remaking movies, it, it's that's it's how it is now. Um, and it, it sells. Yep, it does. Uh, Obviously. The name, the name of the game is IP. Yeah. Uh, the name of the game is IP. So, yeah, um... I think that's everything. Mark, did you have anything you wanted to add? Um, two plus two is four. That's a good addition. Uh, Tiffany? Mm, no, I'm good. Um, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everyone, for tuning in, hanging out, uh, listening to us ramble about video games for two and a half hours. Um, I enjoyed this. Uh, it was I a did, good too. Time. We, uh, actually did. I, I did have a lot of fun. I just didn't know what to do with my hands. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Normally, this is like an audio only thing, but we had some video today. Uh, but yeah. I kept moving because this chair is very uncomfortable <laughs> and I realized it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, we hope you all enjoyed uh, the Immature Hour podcast um, live stream this time. Uh, yeah. My name is Eric. My I'm name Tiffany. is Mark. Hey! hey. hey. Uh, Three, two, one, go, Tiff. Uh, and I'm Tiffany. And, uh, and I am Mark. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.